wonderful radar. Rock a sample. Sounds good. Uh, how much do we have left in that ship move there, Sullivan? Take it. So, oh, sorry, uh, Valley, so you guys want to rock from over here? Yeah. Okay, you want to go ahead and stop the ship, please? Okay. Bridge, this is nav. Hold position, please. So kind of complicated areas like this. Um, Maybe yeah. dead ahead there. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just look for a place where uh, we can keep the ROV stable that also is lucky enough to have some talus on it. So, Do you like any of these rocks? I think I do. I'm seeing some chunky, angular-looking rocks. look like they're a pretty reasonable size too so hmm. listen <clears throat> yeah actually all of these look pretty interesting so that looks pretty good. Both of those look good. Oh yeah, those are the wedgy, wedgy angular. Good. That like first one you circled. Yeah. Oop, oop. Oop. Good catch. Challenging conditions. It is. Like a little ledge. Yeah. That's, that's what. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> Get on the minute here. If you want to hold it. Yeah, then I can. No, you're great. All good. Yeah, it's 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 not the best. Do we want to? Uh, do we want to look for another site? No, we're gonna do it while I just um, don't go into autos. I'll just hold it and just we'll do the arm. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I was off SPL. Oh no, that that's okay. All right, we are full rack back. Roger. I'm gonna turn on the porch light. The porch light is on. All right. Okay, cool. All right. Um, I don't think we're going to zoom in so we can keep an eye on the corals back there. So how about this guy right, be no, right below the manips here? This, this guy one? here? Yeah, let's give that a shot. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All of these look good in this pile. Raj. <clears throat> oh, beautiful nice grab. Good teamwork. Wedge leg, isn't it? Yep. All right, go ahead and push on in there, please. Are you okay with that, Kylie? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Push it a bit more. It's good. It looks like... Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks Ooh. excellent. Oh, I'm cool. happy. Reg. Perfectly wedgy. Pull huh? wide, please. Okay, Perfectly wedgy. All right. Out of there. I got to say, I was impressed with that piling, uh, piloting. It's not easy to do a free-floating grab like that. And then I'll come up on the winch a bit here. Cool. And maybe right in front of me, I'll there's a there. good spot for us to sit down. Raj. So get up over there. Yeah. Raj, Raj. Up a little. Roger. Up, up and over. The density here is incredible. It uh -huh. is. Yeah. <laughs> it's the one time where you kind of like wish you would thin out. You would just need like one little spot. Yeah. I guess we have only rocks in the starboard bio. Is that correct? That's true. Okay. You we can also um, do it on the fly. Do it on the fly. Yeah. Okay. Roger. Go uh, for how about, C. How about that one right there, actually? That looks like a good spot to perch. Forward and down. Yeah. Raj. Oh, where the sediment is? Yeah. Raj. 
And the bottle brushes are not brittle, so that's good. What's going on? Uh, big rock. You think? You think here's good? Just yep. Yeah, I think here's good. Do you want me to come down? Because I'm comfortable just keeping it up too. Okay. Yeah, you can keep it up then. Okay. I'm gonna drive your camera, okay? Yeah. All right, starboard coming out. Leela, I'm gonna go for the C, I believe. Yep, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, you wanna go ahead and... Switch to sample? Switch to sample, please. Thank you. Now we don't want to get in the same predicament we were the other day, now do we? <laughs> we don't want to crowbar the samples out this time, right? <laughs> yeah, so let's just take a quick measure. Sounds good. It looks not terribly promising, actually. Okay. Really? Ooh, yeah, it's bigger than we thought. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, do we want to put it in you E? You can put it, in, put it in E if you want. I mean, I could let it go, but then we might just be doing some prime. It might fit perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Dangerous Do you words. feel uh, lucky? <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel terribly lucky about this. Oh, maybe, maybe, oh. maybe. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, it looks like it does fit. Is it in? No. I think so. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure about. I'm not confident in that, guys. Okay, okay. Let's okay. Do e. Is that okay to sure. put it in larger? Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Okay. How about F? F works. Sure. We're over it. Great. See ya. All right. Well done. Nice okay. work on that. Coming in. Sure thing. Dive mode. I am happy with that rock. And that was rock 128. 128. <laughs> <laughs> I love how we get the butt cam every time now. <laughs> All right. Um, Suleiman. Yes. If this was 128, did we log the 127 eDNA a while back? Uh, the one I had, 126, 125, per claw. Oh yeah, so that's the problem. I okay. messed up a bit ago and I skipped 126 accidentally. So one two, what you have is one two six is one two seven, mm. and what you have is one two seven is one two eight, and we're gonna nice. do a retroactive so one, one two six. So this one two eight or one two seven? This is one two eight, and the last one is one two seven. And there's no one two six because I missed that page in my logbook. Are you so full rushed out there? Be like yeah. Okay. Um, so it the might be drifting. One we're at right now is right one two eight. Okay. okay. And the previous one should be Yep. So this amazing landscape in front of you is one of the reasons one marine protected one two areas. Six should be one two seven? Yes. Thank oh. you. And I will it's not really closed. probably log a one two six out of order. And there is no one two six, right? No one two six. Spoke a little early in there, but I was just saying the, this amazing landscape. I'm take your bubble for one second. Okay. Ecosystem is part of the reason marine protected areas are so important. This area is all protected as part of Papahanao Mokuake Marine National Monument. All right. So what's we what are we looking at now, guys? We're gonna go straight to waypoint five. Um. Yeah. Let's and start heading toward that saddle. How do we want to get there? Do we want to get you want to go along the saddle, or do you want to go along the contour? Um, how about we how about we hug the contour? Okay. And that way we can kind of view uh, toward the saddle and down slope a little bit. Okay. So I would suggest that we stay on the western side of this. Agreed. Um, so around this area. 
Yeah, I think that's I think that's the the call. Yeah. Yep, west side sounds good. I cannot believe how dense this is. Oh, we think it. So shall we start moving? Yeah, what's the what's going to be the bearing? 330. 330. Roger. Roger. I'm going to start slowly coming to 330. This is now. Okay. Next move on bearing 330, 50 meters. Got some kudos coming in on the chat for that rock grab. Thanks. Cool. Jess would be great at that, uh, you know, manipulator game. You like grab a toy out of the glass. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Travel as they set grip strength to one. Okay. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like zero. grip strength zero. Yeah. And even still, I think she could do it. I, I believe you. <laughs> three, three, zero. Ooh. I'm seeing a lot more sediment over here. It is really, really sedimenty. Looks like we still have some current coming out of the north, judging by the marine snow. Still plenty of coral. Mm -hmm. Just, yeah. Looks like a good stack of pillow basalts, too. So we're leaving our hemichorallium little garden, and now we're entering our chrysogorgia little garden. A lot of bottle. Uh, oh, is that? Uh, and a single black coral. Our oxygen concentration has been getting steadily a little bit lower as we climb this ridge. What are we at now? Uh, about 58.5. So we were in the 70s when we started our watch. It's like all Chris Gorges now. Yeah. A little bit more muted color, too. Yeah, higher sediment load, maybe, or something. We're also a little bit off bottom. True. Tiny bit. Look out for sea pens. Oh, yeah, good point. Shrimp. <laughs> that was weird. Bathy, bathy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not branching for us, though. Keeping our eye. So 
so much sediment here. I'm gonna hold at this altitude for a minute for the slope in the mid back there. Okay. I still see a lot of those old hold pass too. Is that a brittle star or is that a crab? It's crab. I think it's a brittle is star. It? Oh, it looks yeah, like as we a came around video lobster. zoom. Oh, it's a brittle, brittle star. First brittle star? First in life? quite a while. Whoa. A wee big brittle star. Really, like, active brittle star. What's the little red guy? What are you? I want to say it's one of those jellies that we saw before, oh, right? The, oh, yeah. Well, the there. parasitic the hydrozoans. They're not parasitic, the hunter ones. One of I love how the there. telestrator has, like, popcorn <laughs> things coming up on it all the time now. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I forgot I was going to give them sparkles on the Telestrator for the oh, grab. Yeah, we, could, we could do sparkles. That's for your yeah. grab. <laughs> oh, man. I like yeah, that. Yeah, you have not been having nearly enough fun with the Telestrator. True. I mean, it is annoying, but there are some, like for the rock samples, the like the bottom, the benthic substrate square highlighter, those can be so good. Oh, yeah, sure enough. Here, um, we could do that. Of like sauropods. Okay, all right. <laughs> uh, Look, it's green. Yeah, we're green done. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's the green thing. <laughs> Why is that even an option? I don't know. There's dolphins and stuff. No, I'm I'm done. I'm done putting uh, I'm done putting rando things on the telestrator. Thank you. <laughs> no, I I I try not to make a habit out of that. Pretty yeah. sure Dwight was getting himself in trouble with that before. <laughs> <laughs> what was he putting on? I don't know. I just heard some of the chatter gotcha. uh, a few dives ago. It sounded pretty funny. We have a question about whether we've discovered any previously undiscovered species or geological data during this expedition. Last night, we sampled a sponge the other night that was not yeah. recorded before, right? Yeah. yeah. We've had multiple, I think. Yeah. It's hard to say. It's always hard to say definitively until it gets right. back to lab and right. goes official, but that we're pretty that's what Chris said. There have been a few things that uh, our onshore uh, biology team has uh, not been able to uh, you know that they haven't recognized before, so we think we found some new stuff. Is that brand? No, never mind. I know why we have uh, dinosaur icons on this thing. Why? It's because these volcanoes were probably we active when the dinosaurs were still alive. Ooh. That's Sorry. a cool thing to imagine. Same move, Raj. Roger. Raj, this is Nav. Uh, another move, same step, please. Exactly. So, sorry, I need a refresher on my uh, cue cards here. The fluffy ones are the Chrysogorgia. Yeah. And the pink one in front of the laser is a hemio Hemicorallium. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. my God, I didn't think I was going to get it. You got it. You got it. How and about? is that a bathypathy? Yes, it is. Rod, 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 rod. Bathypathies. And, and a, sorry. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> this is Kylie's catchphrase. <laughs> Amazing. And then is that, that was that whip. Is, is that a bamboo curl? Yes, yes. it is. Wow. Wow, Get you it. can identify everything in this image. Ace when I come it. back in June, I'm going to be like, there's I one more. Know. There's one more thing. Oh, the where? On the, the right, that fan. The, the, yeah, the white one? Yep, that one. Oh, that one is a don't got it it's the one where uh, we were trying you're like how can you tell bamboos apart from this oh so it's a black coral no uh, no wait uh uh no blanking primnoids primnoid yeah primnoid is the white guy with the 
squiggly lines, Raj. I'm gonna hold off again at this altitude. Roger. Can I steal your bubble? Yes, yes, yes. Primnoid. Interesting terrain. Yeah, this is really terraced. Ooh, I don't really like it. This is cool. This is, how cool. steep is that? Ooh, yeah. That looks very steep. Pretty steep. See if you can get it, that overhang shot. That's dope. It is. Asako is speculating that uh, the weaker currents here are why we are seeing uh, these uh, hemichorallium getting so large. Would you like back down it? Yeah, I think what you're doing right now is, is okay. perfect. Yeah. And then I'll back up. Yeah, you pirouette, you can probably change your camera angle a little bit and then back up. And then you yeah. get a cool Atalanta shot if you want it. Yeah, I'll mm. do that. Cool spongy. Wow, look at that. Wow. Oh, there's wow. lots of stuff under there. Fun wall. Yeah. Ooh. Does Herc have a backup horn? Like a beeper? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they have a sonar, so they know. No, that would we, we wouldn't do that anyway because uh, that could be uh, disruptive to the to the environment. All right, I'll hold off here. I want to change your heading, or the heading of Atalanta slightly, get the picture. Wow. There's, a, there's a lot of that sponge that was sampled a few dives ago. Oh yeah. Look, look at how cool. the fans are oriented too. So cool. Hey Rhett, you want to push in a little bit on Atalanta? Oh, on Atalanta, sure. Oops, sorry. Let me fix the. There yeah. we go. Sorry about that, Kylie. That's okay. Nice. Balance. Cool. Oh, I like that when we get the primness. Look, a primnoa, top left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I that it. Just, like, say it five times, use it in a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Cool. Very nice. Tomorrow is Earth Day, by the way. Oh, it Whoa. is. It's yeah. April. That's weird. What are we going <laughs> <do? laughs> to be doing weird. Earth Day? We're going to be diving on Nuka Sinon, I believe. Are you going to come full out on Atalanta, please? It sure. is Earth Day every day, as far Thank as I'm you. concerned. And I'm going to come back to 320-ish. OK, Roger. This is crazy. Yeah, very cool. I'm freaked out by the Atalanta view. <laughs> <laughs> what? In a good way or a bad way? Well, I don't know. I just don't normally like careen down. Like it feels very like um like what's it what's the word for when you are like rock climbing and you're like going down it. Oh, belaying? Yeah. Repelling? I feel like Adelanta's belaying me down this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> understand. <laughs> it's fine. It's very normal, but I just, I don't think I've done it myself in this oh. orientation. Yeah. What are all white white stalks. I think oh, they're just, just a base. base. That's yeah. just a base. I'm seeing more of those anemone associates here. Oh, yeah. Good eye. I see those two now. Yeah. So, so yeah, that uh, brittle star was sort of a one-off. We're that still is so over. Weird. I wonder why that is. We're still over 2,000 meters. We're about 2,050, 57. Yeah, this is this is just a little bitty seamount. It ne it never got very big. It's kind of like a little. It's, it's, it's basically just like a little rip node where the lasers are. A little baby these, one. These are all big, primnoids. No, the no, you white see, ones. You see the one where the. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I see that the little guy, little little friend. So, Des, yeah. would you, if you were me, just keep backing up, or when would you turn around? I I think in this case. I just keep um, doing this. Yeah, I would I would probably turn a little bit into the, the heading that we're going, but not much. Keep okay. this view and then just back down and so. keep a good eye on the butt cam. Okay. Yeah, and that lateral will get you to where you want to go to. Okay. Is that right there? Okay. Sorry. It doesn't matter. Sorry, okay. I'm laughing at something else. Yeah, so we're maneuvering uh, Herc down slope and nice. uh, uh, moving backwards. So it's a little bit of a different driving style involved. 
Squat, lobster, back it up. <laughs> booty scooch. <laughs> the booty scooch. That was so funny. <laughs> I love that term so much. Uh, Scooty boochin. <laughs> Have you tried bringing Dead your coral. heading about 90 degrees to where you're at? So turning it actually to the right there? To the right? Yeah. So oh, Raj. Mm, I don't know. It's a floater. Maybe just some flotsam. Okay. Should we zoom in on that little floaty? Where? Oh, there I see it. I want to do it. I love how you <laughs> underline everything. This video zoom. Give it a little bit of a process. Hold there, hold there, hold there. Oh, oh what is that? Oh, it's just dirt. some... <laughs> <laughs> sinking detritus. As a geologist, I can certify that that is not dirt. Oh, wow. Whoa. I don't think it's That's alive. It's uh, some sort of it's, filamentous It's stuff. like the web, but free. Yeah. <laughs> Blowing in the breeze. All right, guys. Like we gotta go. So we can get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it was cool, and now it's gone. <laughs> Ever since that dandelion I fought for. I know. <laughs> So All I want is to see another one. I want to go to wild the right. critters. Oh, and also, okay, the shiny bit that was on top of that, yeah. that was a pneumatophore, just like the, the, I was saying, there's like the gas thing on top of the Portuguese man of war. Yeah. Sure. That they also have that, and I guess that helps them regulate their buoyancy. Is it is it full of but gas? But I don't think it's full of it? gas, Could you no. tilt down yeah. for me? On the um, I don't want to. Yeah. I'm pretty much almost pulled down. You have, you have more. You have sled. You have sled mode. Sled mode. <laughs> sled mode. Our intrepid right. science team is short. Pulled down. Thank you. So captivated, they are barely allowing themselves to go drink some tea. Uh, you want to stand by the move for a minute, <laughs> there, please? Thank you. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna make our way a bit. Wow. Stand Look by. at the sponge all nestled up in there. Oh yeah. That's that's a stocked sponge too, isn't it? Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, this has been a fascinating bio dive. So, yeah, our, our bio team is just riveted. So is the geology team. <laughs> it me. <laughs> it it also me. Dwight. <laughs> Such beaut. <laughs> it also Dwight. <laughs> so, Val, what are you looking for in this set of rocks? What are questions do you have? Uh, I am interested in the uh, origins of these seamounts. Uh, there, they come from uh, little bits of mantle that have undergone melting, and were and that melt was erupted out from these uh, volcanic piles that we see. So we want to know: is this uh, mantle that comes from an you upwelling? You got it. Thank you. Or did it form by some other tectonic process long ago? Is that a little crinoid right there? Point to it with the telestrator, Raj. Oh, what are you? I didn't even see that. It does yeah, look of like all a the things. <laughs> Video partial zoom. We got eagle eye Justin over here. Seriously. Yes, you, well, you guys did. Are all the yeah, that's a crinoid. Nice right. spot. Y'all are the smart ones what, that know everything. What everything is. So I get to know. Uh, you, 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 you know tons of stuff. Hawk. I'm learning. Right. I'm We're learning. gonna have to keep going, guys. Wide? That's fine. We just comment on whatever's in front of our faces. <laughs> We're learning too. Yeah, it's fun. That's, that's the fun thing about these multidisciplinary expeditions is uh, there's there a might be a big coral uh, behind you there. Rod, 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 I see in my butt camera. Yeah, you get to work with oh a bunch of God. different experts. Go to the right. Go to the right. And learn little bits of what they're working on and uh, uh, pick up some the knowledge. Other right. Roger. And then Whoa, we learn it a couple times to really sink in. <laughs> yeah. It takes a few tries for me. Especially yeah. after a couple yeah, of worries. light dives. Oh my gosh, yeah. And yeah. it just doesn't quit. This has been pretty dense. Almost so almost. dense. Since Look that at how EDNA big this fan is. It's I huge. Know. And that one? Oh, we've got another brittle on the Chrysogorgia here. So oh, yeah. How in the world? Oh, over there. I just worry about getting to where I need to go. And then we'll do all the <laughs> zooms later, guys. Oh, you don't oh, need You're to fine. We're just Sorry, commenting. We're just, we're just yeah, you know. commenting. Yeah, don't worry about it. And then there might be a mound right here to your right. Oh, we're, those are some of those sponge stalks again coming yeah. in on the bottom of the screen. Oh, and there's a sponge. Yeah, oh, polyopgon. 
Exactly, yeah. And then once you... I would turn, yeah, maybe... Oh, and no, some of the really long stalks. That's great. Yeah. So maybe go to like 240 or zero, and then try that as you're heading for a while, and then you can um, kind of drive a little bit ahead and a little bit right, so you have a bit more visual contact. Nice. Look at that, as far as the eye can see. Yeah, seriously. I wonder if we're going to see another one. You of just went the right way. Uh, sorry, another way. <laughs> another one of those uh, sponges, like alive. Oh, the colorfuls. Yeah. All right, so that's good. I'd like to. Me so too. The you're doing great, actually. God, so please. now you can do a little bit ahead and a little bit laterals, and then you'll get you'll get to where you need to go up here in the high pack screen. Yeah, we'll keep we'll um we'll start laterally along the contour soon. So the man, you can. Uh, now put in that ship move. Three three zero Raj. I think what you're doing now is great. Is is lateral and um, a little bit behind, but not much. Yeah, keep a slanty view. Um, dial that in. Maybe try an auto heading first until you get comfortable with it. And then, all right. Yeah, and then just kind of lateral and a little bit behind, but not much. Uh, that looks good. Okay. And then once we get towards over the saddle here, oh, oh, this will be the downhill here that you're feeling, and then we'll flip around. And then as we go forward, we'll have you go at like a 0 0.45 heading and we'll look into the slope that way. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, no worries. We'll Raj, we can just keep it looking at the local for now on the RevNav and then you'll be good. We've got a fish like, or an eel like fish right there, cruising down. A fish like eel? <laughs> <laughs> it seems like, so now we're in, well, sort of, we're in, we're in more like rubbly areas, more sediment, and you have a lot of the Chrysogorgia, mm -hmm. but then on the big, more consolidated, sort of ridgy walls, that's where they're all the Hemigrallium fans. Yeah, I've been noticing something pretty similar where on. Uh, like more of those crests or the upper portions of the rocks where the uh, hemichorallium are really yeah. building up, you it's have the Chrysogorgia that tend to sit a little lower. Lower, yeah. yeah. There's another fish right there. Not that we need to look at it, just pointing Thank it out. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Uh, uh, we're, we're just pointing out stuff right now, just letting you guys maneuver as needed. I, am, I will say that this is a very interesting um, orientation to learn in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it sure is, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to tilt a little down in your camera there. Cam Kylie, okay? Roger. I think this will get us... Oh, never mind. All right. I think you're in a really good spot now. Okay. I see the Rob Nav is happy. Rob Nav is happy, indeed. Let's continue doing that. So Yeah, sure thing. What are these in the bottom right here? Bottom right. Like here you just mean? Yeah. Looks like more Chrysogorgia. Is it? Yeah. They Thanks. they look thinner than the other ones. Wasn't sure. Might be the angle. Mm. Yeah, so at the moment we're looking uh, southwest as the pilots are uh, working on some maneuvers with Herc. So um, we're just kind of getting in a uh, general look at uh, the population density along the slope. And it looks like. Uh, 
overall, regardless of where we've been on Argonaut, uh, there's been uh, rather dense communities the entire time. Yeah. It's just been changing from pr place to place, and depending on uh, you know what the substrate is like, if it's uh, uh, in place rocks or sedimented or uh, you know, very kind of rubbly, tallest, uh, uh, tallest dominated area like this. So there's just been no shortage of things to look at here. Yep. We're keeping our scientist ashore team very riveted. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness we have their support as well mm -hmm. to help with all of this. Oh yeah. They've been enjoying this one. So have we. There's another pretty big sponge in the lower right corner. And I think I'm seeing a few shrimp here and there too. So if I understand correctly, all of this video is reviewed later and annotated. That's done by undergraduates, Leela. Is that right? Mm. Some powerful uh, training. Yeah. Here you have a Chrysogorgia hanging out. Uh, oh, right just coming in between the other coral there. Is that a primnoid? Um, where was that? Uh, oh, we're looking at this where you have the Chrysogorgia. Yeah, primnoids. Yeah. Primnoids. Okay. I was mispronouncing I that. Thanks. That too. Very good. I'm probably messing you up. Yeah, it's all good. When I was an undergrad, I had to count barnacles on a rock. I really hope nobody has to do that for this <laughs> video. <laughs> it sounds like point counting in geology. It's just one of those rites of passage. <laughs> oh, grad students. Okay, thank you, Steve. That you a little more experience. Gotcha. It'll be done at the dark lab at, at University of Hawaii. <laughs> grad students are professionals. <laughs> You have an evolution just, question just coming in. Evolution. Yeah. Did corals first evolve in the deep ocean or closer to the surface? Ooh. That's a good question that I don't know the answer to. Yep. Our onshore team is, uh, looks like oh, they're in the process of answering. I should kind of comment on the Steve, coral bases, how that, white Rosaco? they are. Right. So cool how they like reflect. It looks like they're glowing almost. Yeah. Partly because so many of the other colors around here, except for blue, are a little bit attenuated. Mm -hmm. Blue has a tendency to scatter more efficiently, so it seems to kind of pop the contrast in some interesting ways. But you know, I'm not the video tech. I don't have uh, the same nuanced uh, understanding of that. Cool. We're doing it. Do the do. <laughs> Seeing some taller corals in the back there. So, uh, look like we're getting into an area where uh, these have been growing for a while. So I'm curious to our scientists ashore, uh, is there software that helps you uh, count and annotate, or is it all done by hand, kind of quote unquote by hand in person? I know you're all. Back Little here. squat lobster right there. I think. Oop. Sorry. <laughs> I picked up both of us <laughs> telestrating. My apologies. <laughs> this is too fun. <laughs> we figured out how to bug out the telestrator. Uh-oh. So the answer from our scientist ashore, Asako, is uh, that she believes it's shallow water. The first fo fossil record that we have is shallow water. Yeah, oh, It's, it's also possible that there have been updates to the literature, too. So. Yeah. Steve just added some more there. Steve adds, the answer depends on the family. Okay. Uh, Chrysogorgia is thought to have originated in the deep sea and diversified there. And Plexarids were likely deep sea invaders from the shallow ocean. That makes them sound so cool. Are mm -hmm. corals monophyletic? And Tyler Astids. Ah, well, that's a paper. Yeah. Yeah, we just had a whole paper abstract appear in our uh, science chat. <laughs> <laughs>
Everybody went, whoa, that's a lot of text. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Steve says, corals are parapoletic. Do you want to call in another ship move there, please? Another move? <laughs> Thank you. We're going to zoom on that guy in a minute. I like him. So and I'm less stressed now. <laughs> Good. Glad to hear it. <laughs> now you're doing oh, wow. great, Kylie. This is nice cool. flying. Okay, slow video zoom in. Just Got call it an anemone. Fish right there. there. Not that it. Nice. Look at all those anemones. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Do you have any more push? Oh, yeah. Let's do one tight one and then we'll skadoodle. Okay. Come wide. Time for the doodling. We're going back down a little bit in depth um, as we move uh, between waypoints four and five. So we're uh, getting pretty close to the elevation low point here. So it's a, it's a saddle point between four and five where you have one little local summit and then you kind of move back down and then come back up to another little summit along the ridge. And uh, one thing that they always teach us in geology field camp is that those are uh, kind of important points to uh, uh, help with uh, mapping and often uh, those those tend to be associated with some sort of a structural feature like a fault so there's usually some interesting stuff to look at uh, along saddle points and I've been finding along the course of these dives along these ridges that um, uh, submarine saddle points are no exception to that uh, uh, to that kind of geological rule if you will Barnacle up here, maybe? Or is that just the tip maybe. of the skeleton? Mm -hmm. It does have some secondary growth on that uh, portion. It's got that kind of yellow color to it. I'm seeing that in a couple of the other corals in the area as well. It seems to be pretty, pretty spotty, though. Hey, Leela, do you have a picture of the... Uh, Branching black coral, right? I guess I can look at um, it too. Yeah, sure. I can pull it up. Oh, yeah, good idea. Get a little bit of visual training for us. Can you put it in the chat? Yeah, I think we could put that in the chat. Do yeah. it. Give me a second. Because I can see it that way. There yeah, it is. no worries. Oh, wow. I guess that wasn't exactly what I was expecting no. image wise. Okay. Wait, where did they Very go? Very good. Big Monray. Where did you go? Um, Psy. Uh, there. Okay, it's 84. We did see Me some either. of that on a different <laughs> dive, didn't we? Did we did? Pretty um, sure. Okay. I don't really. I thought I think we did. We didn't. Do it was Staropathies, it. though. It was this color, but I think that what we had seen that time was Staropathies. Staropathies. Uh, okay. It looked very similar to this. Sorry, Lila, did you put it in the on I, the? I put it in the chat. Huh? It's it takes it's a second. It's coming up right now. Ah, Raj. Yeah, it's high. Yeah. Um, because this one I think is like. Oh, like the star wow. these have all these have branches that come from, like out here, uh -huh. like further out, and I think that that's what we were seeing, but oh, well, I could totally be wrong. I'll take your word for it. No, I'm not sure. It was similar in color and. Mm -hmm. structure to that. Did it look like it was branching from deeper in? Yeah, I think we were mo we had to keep moving, so we just sort of acknowledged that we yeah. saw something we weren't sure 100%. Okay. Do you remember what dive that was? Because we can go back that and was, take a look. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to look the pictures out. That was um, uh, the one where we came to the cool summit with the crinoid that they sampled right as we were leaving. Was mm. that 20? Was that last dive? 
No, it was, it was not last dive. It was not last dive. Oh, no, it was the one, wait. Which it, was, it could have been 20. Are you sure it wasn't the last dive? Yes. Quite sure. One with the really, what's the one with the really cool geology where we were all having so much fun? That was, that was with the dike structures. Yeah, it was, was I think it, it was that one that where we job, got to uh, the top of that. Maybe job. it was the afternoon watch. Like, and that's why we're thinking it was before. No, it was like right as we were coming up to the summit. I thought the giant crinoid that we sampled was uh, 1920. Uh, totally could be. I don't have that one in my spreadsheet. Um, Let's we'll see, we can get to the, the bottom of it. <laughs> um, Things do eventually blur together for us after a while, so that's why we I, document so much stuff contemporaneously, is uh, just to keep everything uh, in the moment documented and keep it as accurate as possible, because uh, you know, running uh, four on eight off uh, watches, uh, that can throw you a little bit. Yeah, especially when those eight off are like working in the lab and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Plus, we just see so much stuff; it'd be hard to keep track of anyway. Mm. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Uh, yeah, as humans, we're only capable of so much, so we have to rely a lot on uh, all sorts of uh, other tools that can document this. Uh, accurately for us. I'm going to guess that that is a squat lobster right there. That's pretty far away. We don't really need to look at it. We're just getting uh, Kylie nice and lined up for the slope here so that we get some cool lateral action going. Excellent. Cool. So, a lateral yeah. action. Nice, uh, nice maneuvering there. Oh that gave us some really nice landscape views. <laughs> um, let's see. That's, that was... That's a great heading there. Okay. Then you can just lateral along. Lateral and forward and just kind of keep it uh, keep it in your view. Yeah. One of our viewers shared that, that they are working on AI software to automatically identify uh, species on dive videos. Cool. Cool. Okay, it wasn't the last dive. It was the one before, so it was on 20. Mm. Yeah, as those... That software gets more and more accurate. <laughs> it's gonna change the game. Nice. Yeah. This looks great. Thank you. Thanks for helping me get here. Yeah, of course. We a team. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, yeah sisterhood. <laughs> <laughs> or the Rav Rav sisterhood. Rav Rav. Rav Rav, Rav like Rav. <laughs> Rav Rav sisterhood. <laughs> the traveling vehicles. Yes, yes. <laughs> I think we're seeing a lot of squat lobsters hanging out inside the corals. Hmm. Yeah, that's... What are these little, these little uh, sea shrimp? Oh, those little guys. Praise this is Nav. Uh, another wolf, same step. Thank you. Should I look up a little? Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, go ahead. Like a little bit. So like, yeah. One of nice. our viewers said they wish there was a work from home position annotating deep sea dive footage. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> It's all like one species here. It's a garden. It is. Nice. It's a gorgeous garden. What when I go home, I'm going to plant my garden. Oh, that sounds nice. A pot of rush corals? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to My land corals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try to get some. Uh, uh, tomatoes going on my little mm, uh, yeah. balcony. Tried that last year and found out that the uh, tomatoes that I had, the seeds, they turned into gigantic plants that I could not keep upright. Oh, yeah. no. That's oh. a thing, isn't it? Yeah. I, so I, I'm going to try for some bush tomatoes this year. You know, the ones that kind of stay a little shorter and are easier to manage in yeah. an apartment. <laughs> Those indeterminate ones you can also 
uh, prune out to as the little growth tips come out in the I crypts. think I found that out too late. <laughs> so it never actually like started fruiting or anything. It was trying, but yeah. it was just too much plant to manage. <laughs> too, like doing too much of the green development and not yeah. the fruit development. Yeah, I have a lot to learn about gardening. It's, uh, yeah, it's a whole, it's a whole thing. It's a science unto itself. Yeah, totally. One of our scientists ashore has given us some more information about the evolution of corals. Um, Jeremy Horowitz says, uh, it seems that different orders have different origins, but we're dealing with fossil records that are always questionable. It's also possible that many groups originated at mid-depth slope depth, protected from shallow water temperature rise and deep water anoxia during extinction events of the past. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the tricky thing about the fossil record, and uh, in the in the same in the exact same vein, the uh, the geologic record. Um, what we see and what we know about um, Earth that was Bryce is. Brancher. Uh, Sorry, I said Bryce Brancher. Ah, gotcha. ah, yeah, yeah. What we know about Earth that was is what's preserved in uh, uh, the geologic and the fossil records, and uh, to some degree, uh, it's a little bit uh, chance. At, uh, as to what's preserved, and sometimes it's a function of, you know, what, uh, you know, what can, were the conditions appropriate at a given point in time in a given place to preserve an animal or a certain rock type that's recording some uh, some information about Earth's past. So there, uh, so there's a lot of gaps in um, what we know. Oh, those oh, there's hello, hello, friend. I've been pointing out these little fish, and then the Thank big, you. big <laughs> one comes by. Yeah. See the one. And then some of these gaps, they, they do get larger and larger as we go further back in the past because that record it becomes sparser and sparser because there's less and less of it preserved with time. Okay, so, gotta go, gotta go. Oh, sorry. You know, when you go back to the Archean... Um, being all pretty. Knock it off. You know, things, uh, <laughs> Archean and older rocks, which uh, is about 2.7 billion years ago and older, um, only about something like 5% of uh, the accessible geologic record represents that time period. So that's not a lot to go off of. We're starting to see a lot more of this Yeah. again. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, those are uh, uh, little deposits of uh, what we believe are barnacle shells. And we were seeing some of these uh, uh, during the 8 to 12 watch and at the beginning of our watch. So it's interesting to see that suddenly reappearing after not having seen it for a couple hours. Fish is following us along. Yeah. yeah. Justin, was it this? I, I think, think there's I a couple fish. fish. It was no, one of the other bubble. one really. I thought I saw the other one, but yeah, that one. I mean, I think we saw that too. Okay. But the the Ooh. distinctive color and branching pattern of the branch uh, black coral you oh, showed cool. us really. Is, I swear I saw You're that coming up. Yeah. I believe you. You have the eagle eyes. I must not have noted it. I just didn't know better to say anything. <laughs> so we're seeing these barnacle, presumably, uh, fragments. Where are the barnacles? Do you want to turn your head into the movement a little bit? I think we're we're widening out a little bit here for a minute. Sweet. Okie doke. Oh, we don't have to lateral so much now. Oh, I love that for us. <laughs> <laughs> we have some suggestions on things to plant in your garden that will make it look like the deep sea. Oh, mm. I like this topic. The Tell flowers me more. on onions and garlic look a bit Chrysogorgia like. Non-edible aliums have a bigger chrysogorgia shaped bloom. You can plant sumac or ferns for the bathypathies. Oh, and wow. some succulents uh, that look a bit like leafy sponges. Huh, that's cool. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. There is over at uh, Scripps, they planted this garden of succulents to all resemble different types of corals. Oh, wow. Oh, I thought that was the coolest garden ever. That yeah, is wow. really it's interesting. Pretty cool. I like the, 
but that was a non-edible, so I like this edible appeal for this <laughs> <laughs> suggested deep sea garden. And then you just have to spray iodine all over it for the smell. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. So the big question is, what will we see in the last 10 minutes of our watch? Oh my gosh, last 10 minutes. Where's the whales and the octopus? Start to see some of those patches uh, where the manganese crusts are polished again. Mm -hmm. This might be giving us some uh, clues about uh, the local currents here. Looks like the barnacles are picking up. Uh, I think you're right about that. Which makes sense because we saw that shell hashed a little bit below. It looks like those currents are pretty consistent too because we're seeing on the more polished uh, uh, cr uh, manganese crust surfaces that's where the uh, larger Chrysic Gorges are uh, anchored. Mm -hmm. uh, smaller ones are on some of the uh, uh, more colorful crusts. So that's one way of putting it. Would you like another ship move along the contour? Yes, please. Okay. Bridge, nav. Can we move five zero meters bearing 335, please? Thank you. Thank you. Lynetta's taken over as navigator. It's a very generous early relief there. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, and I don't know, I know a couple people I can learn something from that. <laughs> <laughs> Including myself. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm probably one of those people. <laughs> what is this right here? Uh, let's see, what are you? Is that just a rock? It's just a oh, no, it's just... Bottle brush coral on a rock there. Yeah, it's the stock of a Maybe coral. Maybe an anemone, too. Yeah, it's an oh, an yep. An anemone, an I think. An anemone. An anemone. It looks so dome-like at first. Go push ahead. Bronze and anemones. Oops, sorry. Push for them for the to get ahead for them, Raj. Yeah, lots of sediment uh, over here too. Do a good a good hand over. I was going for that last minute cool critter. Didn't work. <laughs> yeah, we, we still have a little time left. Don't consider the clock run out yet. That's right. It's like uh, it's like it's like that basketball game when uh, the score is close and it's uh, late in the second half. Something like that. <laughs> yep. In a past life, I was a member of an athletic band and uh, sat in on so many different sports games. And nowadays, I don't have the time to, to watch them as much. What instrument? What did you play? Yeah. Uh, trombone. That's right. Cool. Ooh. Did you bring it with you? Nope. Too big. Uh, can you do that next time? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Can we fashion a trombone out of some stuff we have? <laughs> Oh, Smelt it from the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm thinking, I mean, it wouldn't be perfect, but it, we could get something. I mean, I was playing chopstick drumsticks the other day. Nice. You could have a ferromanganese trombone. Oh, God. <laughs> that would be heavy metal poisoning. I <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> what was this? I, I've uh, probably genre. ingested enough ferromanganese for this expedition. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is Charmbon Brass family? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've never mastered um, valves, but uh, overtone series and like the slide. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> Trombones are cool. They are. They are fun. All right. I'll be handing over. Hand over. Goodbye. Ooh, more old corals here. Older. Ah. One of our viewers just linked us uh, a website for the Scripps Coral Garden. If anybody wants to Google that. All right. Oh. Uh, 
folks are starting to move in for the uh, change and watch. So we'll the usual couple of minutes of uh, low-level chaos as we get everybody uh, reconfigured. The best kind of low-level chaos. Yeah. Welcome back. Oh, you're here. <laughs> Sorry. I was so caught up in what I was doing. All right, signing off and handing to Annabelle. All right, I'm going to sign off and hand over to Beth for the next watch. And I'll be back briefly for uh, dinner. All right, welcome to four to eight watch, everybody. Welcome.
All right, thanks to everybody who has been tuning in from Canada, the UK, Australia, Argentina, Venezuela, Taiwan, Portugal, Puerto Rico, Ireland. Wow. We appreciate everyone hanging with us. That's a lot of folks out there, Shelby. It is. A lot of different places in the world. We appreciate everybody. Yes. Let's, I think, take a bearing of like three, uh, five degrees. <laughs> maybe to start heading up towards waypoint five. What was the bearing you said there? Five degrees. Five degrees. <laughs> mm -hmm. Roughly. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing yeah, ish, here. Ish. Yeah, we can start heading up slope, I think. Roger okay. that. And I, um, when I was observing last shift, they were commenting about sometimes the current pushing them to the west, but right now it looks like we're pretty stable under the ship. Cool, yeah, it looks um, good here. So we, I, I think they were hugging the west side of these features. So Stay that, on the lee. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But what, um, it is something that our scientists ashore are interested in keeping tabs on is the current direction and correlating that with the orientation of the fans that we're seeing. Okay. So we'll want to kind of regularly check in on that. Okay. Um, it looks a little steepish in this uh, direction. Do you want a full 50 meter step or do you want something shorter? Let's maybe start cautiously. 30? Okay. Sure. Bridge nav. And uh, can we move three zero meters bearing zero zero five, please? Thank you. I just realized on the DP screen, it says the current direction as the direction it's coming from. Yeah. Isn't that backwards? I think, yeah, wind direction is one way and current, yeah, current direction should be the opposite. is the other way. Yeah. yeah. Current's where you're going, wind's where it's coming from, but those are both where it's coming from. Yep. <laughs> hmm. Roger. <laughs> I didn't notice that, but the old DP screen was not like that. Oh, interesting. The old DP system, I should say. Um, is the DP screen the one that's uh, in front of Lynette? Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Yep. Thanks. That's all. I mean, obviously, service current. Yep. And also, not necessarily true. Sure. So I heard we're looking for a branching bathy pathy. Yeah, there. Um, there's been some very interesting black coral uh, observed on this dive so far, and by that I mean rather large uh, <laughs> cool. black corals, Great. larger than I've seen on most of the dives of this expedition. And uh, yeah, there was some curiosity about maybe a, a branching black nice. coral. Um, Want to try a fish zoom, Steve? a little tiny wee one. That's the species, a wee one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it goes. Wee one a day. Wee one a day. <laughs> I know. All right, leave him alone. <laughs> Beth, really quickly, do you mind just reminding folks why you're so interested in sort of the micro mineral features on rocks? when we're on these dives? Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> um, not sure if it's a reminder because I don't know that we've talked about it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, 
our dives on these seamounts have multiple objectives. Um, one of the first of them being to survey the animal diversity on these seamounts in the Papahanaumokuakea Kea Marine National Monument so that we understand what we are protecting in this monument. Um, these seamounts have not, their animal diversity has not been documented previously. Uh, a second objective is to collect rock samples for understanding the origins of these seamounts. Um, so trying to collect rocks that retain sub-signature of the original volcanic conditions. And then a third objective is to examine some of these rock samples for the microbial communities that live on their surfaces. And as you can see, or maybe you can't, but many of these rocks are coated in ferromanganese crusts that precipitate out of the water over long periods of time. Mm -hmm. And so the microbes live in those crusts. Um, and I'm interested in trying to figure out the diversity of those microbial communities. Um, so what kind of a bacteria, what kind of archaea are in them, what functions they're performing, um, uh, how abundant they are. Um, a long range goal is to try to understand if microbes are involved mm -hmm. in uh, ferromanganese crust formation, um, but I'm not sure we'll answer that with these samples, but it's part of a larger goal. Awesome. Is ferromanganese crust found, like, is this found throughout the ocean or is it only found in certain regions under certain conditions? How um, prevalent good question. You can find ferromanganese crust all over the place. Um, how thick and abundant they are is kind of a uh, one of the biggest drivers of that is time because these crusts precipitate very slowly you um, keep ship moves going and uh, so often you find them on these exposed rock surfaces at underwater volcanoes You can also find them in abyssal plains, um, where they look like little, the nod, they form nodules. Zoom in on the sponge, please. Oh. Sponges. Yes, yeah, sponges, absolutely. I didn't even see that one tucked under there. Yeah, so the one in front, I believe, is a cyprocolyx. Not sure what the one is on the underhang. Um, and I know that we're having some issues with um, our live streaming video uh, being pixelated for many of our audience members um, mm -hmm. is something we're working on um, with the satellite service, um, but it, I know that makes it a little bit difficult for our identification help. Okay. Um, seems that that underhang sponge was something interesting. Uh, and so if we see mm. it again, we might want to spend a little bit of time looking at it. Roger. sure where that sound is coming from. Don't know. I'm going to tuck away my cord just in case. <laughs> Right now in our field of view, we've got several Chrysogorgia as well as a black coral. Is that branching? Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, Maybe okay. Zoom in on the top, please. This is the feature we're interested in, type of black coral. Uh, hmm. That looks branching. It does look branching. Um, if we could spend a moment to uh, maybe sit down and get a close-up on that. That's whole position. Bridge nav. Can we hold position here, please? Thank you. See if I can slide in between these. 
corals. It's going to be a tight fit. So for anyone interested, if you're looking at channel three in high pack, uh, channel three on the feed, you're seeing uh, high pack, which is our kind of mapping and navigation uh, look to see where the ship and Hercules are. Right now you can see that Hercules is settled up very nicely right underneath the ship. We're not experiencing much current. Go ahead and zoom. Right where we are, down here on the seafloor. Um, right now we have a heading of about 45 degrees. Ooh. And yeah, definitely a branching black coral. Okay, do you want a snip of it? Um, one uh, moment. Waiting. I'm waiting to hear from our scientists ashore. And the scientists ashore, question for them too, is this going to be flexible, as in fit up the slurp hose, or <laughs> rigid and breakable and must go in a box? Okay. Thanks for that close up, Steve. Looks good. That's incredible. Yeah, really, really yeah, nice. Very so you can see kind of the dark color of the underlying structure. That's where it gets its name, black coral. You can also see that the polyps are quite a bit different than some of the other corals we've zoomed in on. Mm -hmm. um, is it possible to bump right a little bit to get a better look at the branch? Roger. Would you like me to try to throw a porch light on that, or are we happy without it? Porch light's on. Oh. Well. You can zoom in, <laughs> Steve. You can try without, see what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say that's worse. <laughs> I liked it on. Yeah. <laughs> on again. Okay. Um. So far, the survey is that we don't think we need to sample this, although Roger. one of our scientists is having quite a bit of trouble with the feed, so that might be Rats. part of the problem. But if we've seen it once, we'll probably see it again. Mm -hmm. Okay, come um, wide, please. So I think we maybe want to keep going. Are we interested in these uh, branching black corals because they are poorly understood, or is it something new? Yes, poorly understood. Mm. Thanks for that video team. Okay. So possible identification on that is that it might be a staropathies, but could also be a, a different type of pathopathies right, or going. a teleopathies. Bridge nav. Can we move three zero meters bearing zero zero five, please? Thank you. Some more wispy bamboos, is that what that is? Um, yeah, so we looks cool. like we have some bamboo whips, um, the tall skinny things, <laughs> some very tall, what looked like bottle brush Chrysogorgia to me. Mm. Um, behind it, I think that's a primnoid, but I'm not exactly sure. We've got a hemichorallium here. Somebody's wondering how many deep sea hard corals are there. Uh, yeah, um, so we have a, someone who studies hard corals <laughs> on the ship with us. <laughs> um, and uh, we haven't seen a lot of hard corals mm -hmm. at these depths. They're, they're relatively rare. Um, we're mostly finding more like soft corals. Um, Earlier in the dive, they were also seeing a lot of sponges. Yeah, I heard there was like a humongous one. I think I missed it. Yeah, it was a really, really large <laughs> polyopagon. It really looked like a satellite dish. Um, <laughs> and uh, also some really long, long and uh, big calafacus. 
Alephagus. Um, haven't seen those yet on uh, the start of our shift, although there is a sponge in the foreground, or the background there. Um, not quite sure what it is from this distance. If we could maybe get a partial zoom on that. If you think that's possible, Trevor. And Where are we zooming, sorry? The sponge. The, the sponge yeah. here. Sponge, Roger. Okay, you can zoom in there, Steve. Okay. Mm. Do, do, do. Trying to pull up my part of the animal guide that helps us with identifying sponges. Um, is this in the Rosalia? I know you, you uh -huh. put tell so, yeah. Doo -doo. Glass sponges. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Halomonas, maybe? Yeah, Halonema. Great. Hyalonema. You can come on. Hey, Ashton, got an Atalanta question for you. Oh, yes, ma'am. You ready for it? I hope so. <laughs> you are. <laughs> OK. Um, someone is wondering, uh, does Atalanta have any propulsion, or does it just hang below Nautilus on the tether? It has um, thrusters for changing its heading and for yawing and making some lateral moves. But for the most part, as far as vertical distance goes, it is just hanging from the ship. Can you zoom on this sponge, please? Our wonderful eye in the sky. Oh. Thanks for that, Trevor. Helpful? Uh, it's not unhelpful, for sure. <laughs> All right, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. It's good. Thank you for doing that. Look at how tall these chrysocorgia are. They're massive. Yeah, they're quite a bit bigger than on previous dives. Yeah, exactly. They're so tall. They are thriving wherever this area is. Everything's bigger in Papahano Mokuakea. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> it's the first time this whole trip I've had the courage to say it publicly. <laughs> It is the largest marine protected area in the United States, so I guess that's fitting. Yep. <laughs> so in our view on high pack, it looks like we're coming up on the end of kind of a steep area and we might flatten out shortly. Uh, we'll see what the difference is up there. Uh, can we get a partial on this uh, black coral over here on the left? You bet. Okay, Steve, go ahead. Great, thanks. You can come wide. All right. I'm trying to figure out if these smaller white fans are Norella or something else. They look like a primnoid to me. So we think that black coral that we were just zooming in on is a bathypathies. Which particular species? Not quite certain. Can we get a partial on this sponge here? Or both of them, actually? There's two. <laughs> one here and one here. Both of them. <laughs> 
Go ahead and zoom in on both of them, please. Well, the one on the left looks really interesting. That's very sheer. Yeah, the one it's, on the left. So it's very delicate. delicate. <laughs> <laughs> Read my my Shelby. <laughs> Really lovely. Did I tell you what you need? You want more? More um, zoomage? You can, you can come, uh, come wide All while right, we're thanks. waiting for IDs to come in. I think that top one is in the Euridae family. Okay. Still waiting on... Conalasma? Um, yeah. Yeah. And then the... So we can see here that it often looks like the corals are attached to more of this like pavement type material, whereas in the rubbly areas, there's a little bit less density. So it might give us an indication of the stability of the ground here. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, it's a lot of information to process at once when there's so many things on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I do not envy your job, Beth. You <laughs> are just managing everything back here. Uh, the IDs and where the ship is going and where the dive and how things are collected and um, making sure that we're following the permit and like all of these different concerns. Yeah. And I'm not an animal biologist. Yeah, <laughs> so. exactly. And I was just going to say, <laughs> really a microbiologist. Yeah. Look at all these crazy Doing all the IDs it back here. It looks so soft down there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Chris did say they were going to turn you into a microbiologist. Yeah. He, yeah. He, yeah. <laughs> He's hopeful. He's hopeful. It's like a meadow down there. It, it that's what I just put in my uh, log. It's a uh, meadow. It's a meadow. <laughs> Truly. So pretty. So that's I believe gorgeous. this is an arella. I'm going to look and so figure gorgeous. out what these are because I forget. Those also might be a norella, but maybe a different species. Little leggier ones. Looks very rubbly. Yeah, this part area. does look really rubbly. Wow, but things are still sticking. A couple yeah. of sponges in view, top <laughs> and bottom. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're right. Any of uh, them of interest? They're mostly what we have already seen, but this one yeah. looks quite delightful. So delightful. maybe let's look at that one. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed the light. <laughs> I like the light. Oh, maybe the leggier ones are. It's pretty deep. There's not much delight down here. All right, I'm at the end of the leash. So let's see how this goes. Was that a darkness joke? Did that just go yeah, over I, all of our heads? Yeah, oh, I know. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, wait what, did we, what did we miss? <laughs> yeah, it, it wasn't very good execution. <laughs> <laughs> you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. <laughs> I appreciate Zoom it. Zoom in on that, please. I have to get an explanation of that later. <laughs> There's not much delight oh, down look here. look at that. That's lovely. Oh, I love the structure. So, I think Whoa, this is another euplectilid. Uh huh. Cute. The cute one's on top of a half dead one. Yeah, I You're was right. wondering. Yeah. Different species, it looks like. Yeah, it does look like it. Um, cool. Okay. Come wide, yeah. please. You read a day? There's another unique one up to the right. The oh, too. hold on, Trevor. There Holding may be on. a request to sample. Ugh. Oh, hold on. Holding. <laughs> Um, and I'm also noticing that there's a different type of sponge just in our top right hand corner. Yeah, Can we scan so oh yeah. over there for just a that's moment? That's where I was just headed. Okay. Z uh, I think so. Okay. Yeah, what the heck. I'm not sure which one we want to collect. Zoom uh, in on this one, please. So let's get a partial on that while we're waiting. This is a one of these vase-type sponges. Yeah. Looks conical a little bit. Oh, wow. I don't know that we've seen that one. I don't know that we have seen it on our dives. I thought think that they saw it earlier. Okay, thanks. Come on. Okay. Ooh, another one up to the right. <laughs> getting pulled in by Siren Song here of new looking sponges. <laughs> Shopping. So okay, yeah, let's come back down to the delightful one. I think yeah. that's the one we want to sample. We are going to sample it? Uh, maybe. We're still Roger. waiting for confirmation. If we were to sample it, would mm -hmm. we slurp? Good 
question. We have plenty of slurps available. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking we would start with that, Okay. considering its size. Oh, it might not be a uh, euplectilid. Maybe it's something else, but uh, okay. Uh, Chris Kelly, ashore, let us, uh, okay, no slurp. It's soft, but we'll be able to grab it. Roger. Grab it and put it in. Uh, one of the bio box. Charlie. Charlie. Roger that. This is going to be sample 128. Can you switch my cameras around, please? Yes. And did we get some good close-ups of that when we were looking at it earlier? We want a bio box cam. Both the bio box cams, yeah. So. Okay. Um. So we're getting a partial ID on this, that it may be a Conales matinee, hmm. um, hmm. The described yeah, by name. Konstantin Yabaknik. And so getting a sample of this will help us confirm if that's what it is. Nice. Um, so while it's similar to some of the species we've seen before, what stands out to me is kind of how much more pronounced the little pokey bits are compared mm -hmm. to the other versions we've seen, which had maybe a bigger basket and smaller little nubbins. Mm -hmm. um, nubbins. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Okay, <laughs> craft iron, please. I'm actually going to do this, too. Oops. And in the background, we see a few different Chrysogorgia here. I believe this is a Norella primnoid behind it. Oh, boy. Also looks like we might have a brittle star over here on the rocks. Hmm. Now the question becomes how to grab. Oh. I think I'm okay. going to do. Uh, can I get bubble on the sponge, please? Yes. Correction to what I said earlier about the name of the species. I think that was referring to the vase sponge that we saw at the top right. So if you're watching on Nautilus Live, I've got a couple different views you can choose from. And in channel three, you're able to see in close detail what the manipulator is doing. While in channel one, the uh, arm is a Blocking the view a little bit. Yeah. Ugh. And one of the unique things about this manipulator on Herc is Ooh. are these manipulators that we call coral cutters. Oh. Specifically designed to help us collect samples like this. Okay, craft arm preset, please. Do you want to zoom before I pull it away? If we can, that would be wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can do anything. Nice grab. Yeah. So yeah, we think wonderful. this is in the subfamily Corbitellinae, in the family Euplectilidae. And it is the, the length of those uh, protrusions on the side okay, that uh, might be what differentiate it. All right. That cool. bottom part might flop off because I snipped it. It's okay. Uh, That's all right. That's fine. Kay. Thank you for Come that. Wide, please. Yeah, nice grab. Do we have floaty things in the bio boxes? I've already secured the thruster, so we'll see. No. Nope. Shouldn't okay. matter because this okay. guy's floaty, so. Yeah, I think the only Can rocks you tip are up on box. bubbles. Please? Yeah. It's going to follow this the whole way around. Oh, I'm sorry. Back to craft arm tip up. So the sample is going yeah, up in a box alone or on right top of some bit. rocks? I can nope, do that. alone. Okay. Just enough so that frame is just on the right side of the screen. Okay. Keep going left. Oh, left. Okay. Just so that frame is just on the side of the screen. All right. Yeah, perfect. Now I got maximum seeingness. Get those blind <laughs> spots. 
trying to move really, really slowly. Rocks are way easier. <laughs> less fun. To answer your question in a little more depth, Shelby, sure. um, the sponge could be quite delicate uh -huh. and brittle. And so putting in a box with rocks is a little bit of a risk mm. to the sponge. Not so much to the rock. Right. <laughs> How about rock, a sediment too? Rock don't care. Yeah. Go ahead, rock, Steve. paper, scissors. There goes half rock, paper, sponge. Paper, sponge. Oh. sponge. Rock, paper, sponge, for sure. Rock is going to win. <laughs> okay, can you please open the box? Yes, sir. You still have the top half of the sponge, so all is well. Quite a diversity in this group of sponges in terms of their oh morphology. No, sticky. The rest of that sponge is, Why is it sticky? floating <laughs> on the bottom of the arm right now. Oh. <laughs> Why is it sticky? Oh. No. Shake, shake, oh. shake. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Fascinating. All right. Let's change stuff off a bit here. Sample salvo. Get a bigger view on this one. What if I bonk it a bit? <laughs> or maybe, hmm. Nice. There we go. Perfect. Wow. All right, there we go. Great. Nice. Well done. <laughs> well done. So sticky. <laughs> that was a surprise. What's our sample number, Diane? 128, Lynette. 128. Oh, no. Oh, no. Tip down on bubble, please. I got a yeah. accidental friend there. I got to weave my way through. There we go. Yeah, this is like almost like surgery work down here with this high density. <laughs> oh my gosh. So many things. Okay, nice job, arm secure. Trevor. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Trevor, That's for that collection. Button. Hit the right button. Okay, anything else while we're here? I don't believe so. I think we're good. Okay. We can go ahead and uh, resume our ship's move. Roger that. Okay. You're good to resume. Okay. Bridge nav. Can we move okay. three zero meters bearing zero zero five, please? Thank you. Mm, got a manipulator arm question. Someone's wondering what is the circle on the center top of the palm of the manipulator for? Oh, what? <laughs> what a question. <laughs> well, if you would go to the Nautilus Live website, your answer might lie there. <laughs> That's a hint until I get caught up to the ship when I can pull it out again. Yeah. Yeah, so the compass rose is a very... Actually, wh oh, hold on. Before we go do spoilers alert, let's... Uh, <laughs> why don't you pull it out? You got a second to pull the arm out front and show, show yeah. the viewer at home? I get a little bit so. of screen time on that. That sounds <laughs> great. I can do that. I mean, Get my delta up a little bit. Yeah, Roger. Let's be safe and secure first, and then you can. All right. Bring that out. Hanging out. Give me that arm. Is that another one of those? Uh, oh yeah, it, it is. Looks slightly different. Oh maybe. Oh, oh. is it? Okay, stand by on bringing the arm out. Do you want to zoom on the sponge at all? Yeah, we can get a partial, please. Okay. Okay, Steve, Standing go ahead there. Stand by on the arm. Looks similar. Yeah, it looks very, very, very similar. Huge. But ah. bigger, maybe a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but bigger. Yep. And with a buddy. Okay, oh, yeah. thanks. Little guy. All right. Arm things. <laughs> so, yeah. 
big Ash. thank yous. Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut in, Beth. Getting big thank yous from the scientists ashore for that sponge sample. They're very excited Great. about it. Could be something new. So if that's what's comfortable for you, then do it. But I don't think I've ever seen you hold it like that before. Oh, you're right. It's the weird pencil grip. <laughs> Still very steep here. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Okay. Are these all little hold fast that don't have? Yes. That's I what think it looks so. like. Wow. Left over. I think so. Mm -hmm. You committed to that grip, eh? I think so. Okay, the innovator. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I just need to hold it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember what your pencil grip is. I rested in the Ah, the thank you. The there you go. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Am I doing a wrist spinny? Yeah. You can close those jaws, too. Yeah, let's close those. Good idea to, when you can, standard operating, keep the jaws closed, less tangly. And the big the reveal. The big reveal. Woo! <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Steve, can you push in a little bit? Did you just change two lights there? Uh, the porch lights come on staggered. Uh, that's kind of nice with that one up there. What are we revealing? What the, the big rose. circle is what on the, the palm. circle on the palm. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully the viewer can recognize that from our website, which <laughs> is conveniently linked on the sticker. <laughs> <laughs> that link's hard to click, but I think you'll have to <laughs> type it in and you'll be fine. <laughs> Next okay, we need to put a QR away. code on the other side. I yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> People can like zoom in. <laughs> that's a good idea. Great. All right, you can stow the arm now. All right. Do people do that? Put QR codes in videos, Steve? Uh, I think so. Probably on YouTube, it's a thing. But okay. I don't see. That, I mean, if you're watching it on a screen, you could always just click a link. So yeah, maybe right. it doesn't make sense. I guess QR codes be work better on physical objects. Can you move objects. the arm out port a little bit? Yes. I'm sure, it's been done. Though. I saw there was a video game with a QR code on it. It's like oh. an Easter egg. Oh yeah. I've seen TV shows with Easter egg QR codes. Oh, really? Oh, hmm. yeah. yeah, that's interesting. That's cool. Yeah, because, like, for instance, we have monitors up at Bigelow one? where we show this feed. So someone wouldn't necessarily know what web page they're looking at. Mm -hmm. Bridge, nav. That's a good point. Can we move three zero meters bearing zero zero five, please? Oh. Thank Do you, you like this face towards you? Nice job, an opportunity to stay fresh. Yeah, thanks for the, the arm practice. Mm -hmm. Stretching my arms. Ashton, are you keeping a record of how many times you get to use the manip in real <laughs> real action? You better believe it. What, what number are we at? I think this is number, besides practice day, maybe number four? All right. Or maybe including practice day, this was number four. Yeah, I have picked up three rocks. One, I think I set back down or something. <laughs> <laughs> one or two Trevor put in a box, and one I put in a box. Yay! So. What was that yesterday where you yeah. expertly put it in the box, and I picked one up and immediately dropped it? So. <laughs> <laughs> you did it in record time, though. I, I really let the world of uh, <laughs> the Nautilus stay in suspense when I use the arm. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps us on the edge of our seat. It's like a melodrama. It's good for us. <laughs> so again, these meadows of Chrysogorgia continue, with occasionally punctuated by a couple other species. I'm not quite sure what this white one is in our center frame, but I think it's something we've seen already. Another sponge, top left. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. a little yep. bit different, uh, more wispy. And something red going off middle right. Can we get a partial on the uh, sponge here on oh, the heck yeah. center they left? Oh, heck yeah, one on the one on the right in the meantime? Oh, sure, yeah, I didn't even see that one, but yeah, why not? Okay, zoom in there, please, Steve. <laughs> Oh, oh a tiny little oh, one. Oh, look at that. Interesting. 
looks like under a rock. All right, come wide, please. Does seem to be under a rock. I've got a and little we'll cup be coral going there. Right back in. Looks like an anemone there. Yep, keep going. You can do your partial. Mm -hmm. Little follow up on the manipulator circle right, question. There. They're like, it's the Nautilus Live logo. Yay. There you go. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> Similar to what we've seen, I think. Yes. Thank you. Something we've seen on several of their dives. And are the edges dying on that one, or is it something else overgrowing? Uh, it doesn't, I don't think it's something overgrowing it. I think it's getting sedimented. Um, okay. I'm not sure if that's a signal of decay. Okay. I want to say that Chris mentioned this last year, and correct, correct me if I'm wrong, Chris, if you're listening, that sometimes they can get sedimented, but it doesn't necessarily mean they're dying. They can kind of cyclically get yeah. sedimented and then clean it out and then get oh. sedimented and clean mm. it out. Cool. Oh, interesting. I think so. I think I'm remembering correctly. So they might have a little slovenly part that they mm -hmm. clean up out later. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's like their food beard. <laughs> Ew. Uh, Yuck. Yeah. Are they typically sticky underwater? Like I really hadn't thought about it till you sampled that last. Oh, well, it wasn't. It wasn't actually coral, sticky. It just was stuck to it. It was minute. stuck to it. Are they ever sticky in texture, like to catch sponges? Food I don't, that's coming I don't by? think so. I don't know. Diane, you've been handling a lot of our sponge specimens. Uh, have any of them been gloopy, gooey? No, I wouldn't say so. The slime star was probably the gooeyest thing that we've, you know, handled and you know, dealt with. Most of our sponges have been very sort of brittle. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. But as far oh. as sticky goes, it doesn't always have to be goopy. And this is where you should definitely talk to Jess. Okay. This was her, her PhD was based in uh, adhesion. Oh, yeah, oh. material science. Oh, yeah. interesting. She's, if there's anyone that knows about adhesion, it's Jess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Noted. Are you feeling much current here? No. no. Okay. A little bit, maybe, but not, not much. Okay. Argus, or sorry, Atalanta, I guess, is. A little bit. She's just getting... I'll just keep We changed track with around. the ship, and Atalanta did not. <laughs> okay. Bridge, nav. Can we move three zero meters bearing zero one zero, please? Thank you. How many samples have we collected so far, Diane? Oh, on this dive? Let me yes. give you a quick little rundown. We have on board HERC three uh, geological specimens for uh, origins analysis. So okay. those are uh, Val will be working with when we get back to the lab. Mm -hmm. We have the sponge that we just collected. We have a rock for Beth with a companion water sample for microbial analysis. Uh, we have one water sample that we will run for eDNA. And then we have an unknown sponge in the slurp, Ooh. which I guess a previous yeah. shift took. So I don't even know what that looks like. Ooh. But That'll be fun when yeah. it's time to oh, yeah. retrieve. Mm -hmm. Do we know what the community was like where the eDNA sample was collected? I can take a peek back at what was said about that one. So one thing we haven't seen much of on this dive is brittle stars attached to corals. Oh, you know, that's true. Yeah, and a lot of people have been actually wondering, like, where hmm. are they? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so eDNA sample taken in a, an area of large coral density, I'm sorry, in an area of dense corals, large hemichorallium fans, large chrysogorgia, so it sounds similar perhaps, tall bamboo whips. Okay. And a sponge. Can we get a partial on this little tiny coral there? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, zoom in on the tiny coral, please. Just hiding down there. Oh yeah. Very leggy. Yeah. Could be so small. What? Can we? Is it possible to get any tighter on the polyps? Yep. 
Ready for a tight zoom? Yep. Do what I can. Full zoom. Whoops. Okay, thanks. You can come wide. Thanks. I'm not exactly oh. sure what that is. Nice work, guys. Thanks. It looks like there might be some squat lobsters in these crystal gorges, but yeah, I did see one. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah I sure did. Okay, okay, so like they're the around. Coral that we were looking <laughs> here at here and there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you're right. Once you look for them, tiny little like red dots, but I'm not sure if they're brittle stars. Or oh, not. there might be a s either a squatty or a. I think they're squat lobsters. Yeah. Can we zoom in on these two, please? Okay. Maybe some shrimps. Oh, they might be shrimpies. That oh one's yeah. A shrimp. That's How a shrimp. This one? Cool. That one's a oh. squatty. That's a squat yep, lobster. That's a squat lobster for sure, yep. Huh. He's got some legs on him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and who's in the background? Oh, there's one in there. Is that a star? Brittle star. On the rock. Oh, is that? Oh, oh. a tiny one. Tiny, tiny. Oh, forward. down there, off the coral. Yeah, I see it. Mm -hmm. Oh, look Good at that. Good eye. All right, thanks, Steve. Well, so they're around, a little sparse, but. So that tiny little white one we were looking at might have been a primnoid. Kind of looks like a norella, one of the species of norella. But we'll see. Oh, thank you for uh, the several people who are just saying they're enjoying the discussion and we we try to have decently equal parts science and entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we're trying. <laughs> I'm glad that that's what is happening. <laughs> oh. All right. I think the yeah, entertainment there's another is little thing sponge too. back there. If we could get a partial snap. Oh yeah. Oh, yep. I think that may be that one that we poked at earlier, like took a little... That's go, Steve. I'm not going to stay too long on this one. Mm. That one, the protrusions look a little bit smaller. Yeah. Yep, thanks, you can come on. Okay. So probably in the same family, but different than the one we collected. Hello, overhang. All right, Ooh. so now Ooh, we're getting into that. So All right. Nice. Big pillow lava formation. Oh, oh my, my gosh. goodness! Wow. Can we, that's get, a can we get some stills, please? Oh. It's a kind of candy over forest. This? Try that and stay is still a, a second. Lucky Do you want lasers on or off for this? Uh, lasers on is fine. Okay. So much chrysogorgia and hemichorallium. Just beautiful. Wow. We don't plan a sample or anything here, do we? Nope. I just okay. want to get a look. All right, of we'll this keep moving. Lovely yeah. pink bridge beautiful. nav. That's stunning. Such a great color three, palette. Three zero oh. meters. You know, nature just knows zero how to pick it. Five, please. <laughs> yep. <laughs> look at all these Thank fans you. coming up into view. So wow, beautiful. Looks like my lawn, all poofy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but my oh. lawn doesn't look. These like rock that. structures crazy. are blowing my mind. This is so cool. Just fans for days. Look at that. Um, Amazing. Can we? Uh, Trevor, is it possible to pause for a moment and sure. see if the current is pushing you in any particular direction? Yeah, just for a moment. Yeah. And I'm dead stick now. We get a little bit of down current and a little bit uh, pushing me 270. Okay, so pushing you towards the west as we're yeah. looking towards the north keep my heading. east northeast. Try and keep my heading 090. This is a nice stable yeah. reference here. Great. Yeah, Is mostly it? getting pushed backwards. Okay, so getting pushed from east to west, uh, which looks like the direction <laughs> that all the fans are facing. <laughs> Thank say. you for that, uh, Trevor. Just fans for days. I mean, this is just... This is incredible. <laughs> wow. It's fascinating the stark difference between this dive and last dive with the uh, yeah yes absolutely exactly another sponge here yeah another uh -huh. sponge that look at the hold one, isn't it? fast on that, that thing is a stock <laughs> one. oh yeah oh, yeah I'm gonna zoom into the stock sponge real quick 
pretty far from it, but. Oh, and know. there's a um, anemone on the left. And you can stay in. I'll look at this hold fast. Oh, wow, and a head of rotary down there in the cracks below. Thanks for that. Thanks. I think that might be a bolosoma sponge, the one that was stocked. Well, the density's not quitting. Just all in the background. I mean, really. Wow. Another one of these anemones, the sticks out because it's a different color. Mm -hmm. Do you want to try DVL here? Uh, let's wait a little longer. Okay. And we got a sea star. Hello. Sea star. I, I yeah. think our pan is drifting. Yeah, Roger. It goes both ways. Yeah. Try that. Look, it just goes on and on and on. Does. I can do a quick uh, scan left right here. Oh, that's great. Yeah. What's the O2 concentration Ooh. where Good all question. of the sense? Because this is thick <laughs> down here. Mm. All of this. Wow. So we're reading about 60 micromolar mm. oxygen in this area. Um, if anybody's interested in this kind of data, when you're on the Nautilus Live page, um, homepage, and you are got the... Uh, Video frame and view on the right hand side, there's a sidebar with some data, some stats about RV Hercules. And you can click on the, I think it's like more data or more information mm -hmm. or more, <laughs> something related to more. Uh, yeah. You click on that okay. and it'll show you all the, the majority of the data we're live streaming from Herc um, as well as from the ship and Argus. Someone's wondering, they're saying okay. that Reset. these. Big coral fans seem to be oriented in various directions. Does this mean the currents might vary? I think we were just talking about that a little bit. We were. In the direction that they were facing. Yeah, so I think uh, Trevor identified the current as moving from east, east to, to west. west. Mm -hmm. And so you can see that the fans are sort of facing. Wait, what direction are we going in? Right, right now, now we're heading east. Yeah, we're heading east. Okay. They're slightly different orientation yeah. on this side. So they're facing more northward. But they're the concave part of their <laughs> fan is pointing northward on this side. Bridge nav. You know, which is different from the sponges where they face their the bulbous part. Towards Can we the move current. three zero meters bearing zero five zero? I'm um, I'm sorry. Bearing zero zero five. Thank you. So there might be some swirling here too. There's like a little local maximum. Just yeah, I was right. just about yeah. to say that it looks like mm. we're coming down off a little knoll. Yeah, well, I don't um, think we've actually gone up it yet. Okay, well, let's might as well zip back. Let's book have a moment. Mm. Yikes. Uh, okay, oh yeah. you want to try get back? Let's try again. Uh, Fish reset? Down there yeah. Lower left. Ooh. Maybe just a bad ping. Okay. Ugh. Is that a fish down at the bottom of the uh, mm -hmm. frame? Oh yeah, hell yeah. Maybe. You want to try a far away zoom, Steve? Roger. It's moving quite gracefully. Is it, is it a halosaur? Mm -hmm. I don't oh. think so. I don't no. think it is. Uh -uh. Oh. No. no, it has a different face. Yeah. Yeah. Different face. Cool pattern too on All right, body. Think I'm gonna go the right way now. Did it have any fins? I can't see. Astro, do we have a extra light on on Atalanta? Right we now? do not. We're just we just have one light on. Are you panned? And butt light. Uh, there's no pan. Oh yeah. Yeah. No What's, pan. See the uh, how there's like washed out in the bottom left. Yeah. Hmm. I made a. Oh. That yep. is just butt light. Oh. Uh, isn't butt number one? Yeah, this yeah. is just butt light on. I'm liking that right now. Okay, that looks good. let's do it. All right, so yeah, that's we're. It's not, <coughs> not right. Go okay. ahead, Trevor. You uh, stand back? by a sec. Yeah. Look. So right now we've changed our orientation. We're yeah. heading okay. north towards uh, our waypoints. Hmm. I'm gonna power cycle it. You can okay. take me out of master that master position source. Okay. How many waypoints do we have on this dive? I don't 
think I realized that. I know we've been having I the think about we probably six. have eight or nine. Okay. There's only six. Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh, I didn't oh. realize we were that close to the end. <laughs> wow. Oh, no. So the fish we were looking at just a few moments ago was a type of cutthroat eel. I knew it didn't have any fins. In the family Synaphobranchiidae. Oh yeah, we have some folks out in the world saying. <laughs> Trevor, when Same you thing. have a moment, I'd like to request a zoom. Sure, where at? Actually on the rocks. To see rocks, if there's rocks. barnacles or snails over here. Okay. We I'm saw those earlier on some of the rocks. Uh, you can zoom in there, please. Whoop, still on the go, sorry. It's okay. Oh, wow. Those look like a bunch of little holdfasts. Yeah. Where I might sit down, Steve. Yeah. Roger. Yeah. It's Coming wide. Whoa. Oh, fish. Yeah, there's a little fish there. It's really, yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, zoom in. All right. Yeah, so we can see that these rocks are just carpeted and what, look to what are they? Some of them are barnacles. Mm. And I'm not sure what the little puffy clouds are. <laughs> what do you hmm. which ones are the barnacles? Uh the kind of characteristic look is something like this. I don't know if those are alive anymore. But it's kind of like you can see there. What is that in the shell? upper left? Tiny oh. star. Yeah, it's a tiny star. Tiny yeah. Nice. I love yeah, that the so center the of the star is also a star. Yeah. We could, we could probably get a... Um, so the ones with the rings are sorry. probably the dead ones. Uh, uh -huh. And then the other ones are still alive. All right. I'd like to move along now. Roger. So all of them are barnacles. Okay. Thanks. Wow. Oh, my goodness. And now we realize it's a carpet of barnacles. Look at Can that. we get a still cam shot of that, please? Yeah. I've got it. I'm going to yep. follow it along a bit. It's like marble cake. That's incredible. Or something. So up here, there's all the barnacles, Whoa. and then off to the side are all the fans. Yeah, That's so I wonder crazy. if the barnacles are preventing the fans from being up here. Yeah. Or maybe taking space that the fans didn't want or something. I don't know. Yeah, good question from one of our scientists ashore. Who wants to calculate how many barnacles so <laughs> we're looking at? Not me. Millions? <laughs> Billions? <laughs> but it makes the rocks look beautiful yeah. from far away. They almost glitter gold, huh? I know. Yeah. It almost looks like somebody took a paintbrush it does and look just like a like paintbrush. Yeah. went across. Wow. But really just on this feature. Yeah, on <laughs> this uh, continuous this rock feature. <laughs> Science, I'm just going to go back the way I came for a moment. Yeah, that's fine. There's no harm in looking at these colorful rocks again. Right. No protest from the back row. So you're going to hear some voices start to change out over the next few minutes as our dinner relief comes in. Yep, time to eat. I'm curious when we get back outside, how many birds are going to be in the water around us? <laughs> they just kept multiplying <laughs> as the day went on. Oh. We've got several. Uh, are the albatross based back? on <laughs> albatross and Blackfoot albatross. They've returned. Yeah, there are, there's a really big flock floating out on the water about 100 feet yeah. out. Okay. Yeah, I saw it get larger and larger as the day <laughs> went on. I love watching them. This is even thicker barnacles than what we saw earlier. It's like a web. This is Justin, by the way. 
Welcome, temporarily. Justin. Hey, Justin. Hi, Hi Justin. Hey. Hey. Is there music playing in your guys' headphones, too? It's because of this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we saw our whole watch. Has this been pretty consistent for you, too? Yes, yeah, so far. Incredible. Yep. It really is. You know, we didn't see a ton of were uh, brittle stars or basket yeah. stars. Yeah, we were, we were yeah. talking about just that. just remarked about that. Oh, okay. We did see some uh, anemones Swap attached. it out in the video chair. Yep. Oh, interesting ripples over there in that sediment for it. You're right. Oh, yep. Good eye, mm. Stephen. Uh, yeah, we we did notice when we stopped looking at a couple of the bottle brush Chrysogorgia that some of them had shrimp in them or squat lobsters. But yeah, brittle stars are not not in abundance here. Like yeah, I think we saw one, <laughs> maybe yep. two. Indeed. All right. Join you guys in a few more moments. This is Beth signing off for my dinner shift. Let's see, in our scientist ashore right now, it looks like Dr. Christopher Kelly, Dr. Hisako Matsumoto. Anything about that? We just uh, noticed that Stephen had brought it up and we were saying those were such interesting uh, ripples in the sand uh, or in the sediment when we were panned out a little bit more. Um, but wondering if it's a current thing if, if it's been pushed or not sure I guess like really rubbly down there you can tell there aren't any corals attached maybe it's not cool very those ripples in the sand are to your uh, starboard side mm -hmm. Down. One kind of interesting thing we had on our watch was we, we were seeing these d stalks laying on the ground that were looked like one to two meters, mm. and the, the, it looked like something had snapped off the top. Hmm. And we were guessing it was a, a sponge, but we weren't sure. And then finally, we came upon a, a caliphacus mushroom way up off a ridge, and it was the same stem, but it was huge. It, oh the, my the, goodness! The stem Sorry, was. I realized I was muted. Hey, Becker, are we all good to keep moving? Uh. We all good? No rocks you guys want or anything? All right. I think we're happy back here. Let's keep moving. Roger okay. that. Yep. We're happy. Let's go. Happy. Happy scientists. Happy Bathy. Bridge Bill. now. <laughs> Somebody say happy Bathy. I did. <laughs> <laughs> you heard right. You heard happy right. Happy Bathy Bathy. <laughs> Can we move three zero meters bearing zero zero five, please? Yeah, speaking of which, we are still looking for a branched bathy Oh, you're going to find or, it on our watch. Yeah. Uh, that wasn't what we were looking for yes. earlier? Yes, yes, it yes. Is. Yeah, I think it was. It, was. it yeah. is, yeah. We are still on the hunt for one. We never uh, found it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just so that you guys are aware. Gotcha, oh, amongst gotcha. other things that we're looking for, mm -hmm. including so geological samples and uh, collecting a few rocks for microbial analysis as well. So, mm -hmm. so I have a question about the bathy pappy, pappy, pappy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> bathy, bathy. <laughs> oh, stuck on my words. Yes. Um, yeah. uh, so, okay, you know how there's like that center um, stalk, I'll say, mm -hmm. and then it kind of like fans off to both sides. Would we be looking for one Fish. where it the fan is coming out in two axes from that same stalk? Or would it be like from from below it branches into two fans the way we traditionally see it? Can you check the science chat? Uh, Leela Ooh, actually put a, a picture of it in if you scroll back oh, a little bit. I, I okay. can't scroll back. No, I, but I can scroll back and screen. answer that this. Helps. Gotcha. Yeah, it looks it's it's sort of branching out oh. in different directions, uh, sort of like a like a Christmas tree. So like you know those oh. cardboard Christmas trees that you like um you you like cut oh, oh do you know what I'm like this you know what I mean yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. it does that yeah. okay yeah. Right. yeah yeah okay excellent we will find who's whose screen are you mirroring I'm looking at Psy. okay because yours I believe the font is uh it hurts my eyeballs it is small for some reason yes I cannot I, look I'm at not it. sure who did that uh, might be able to. You can change you can. it. 
Dr. Jeremy Horwitz is saying there is a stem and then primary pinules. If it has secondary pinules, it is branching. So off of those primaries, I assume. Okay, okay. Okay. So we're looking for pinules off the pinules. Yes. Secondary pinules. And I don't know if pinules the color is pinules. always the same as what we're seeing uh, on okay. the ID guide, but it's a darker kind of reddish brown. Well, reddish pink brown? Darker than the orangey-ish colored ones we've been seeing? More red. More, More red, red than orange, okay. Ooh, ripple marks. Yeah, we've been seeing those. What do you suppose? Just current? Or? Uh, that would be current. Uh, they're pretty well organized, so um, that tells us that uh, there's been uh, current in a uh, pretty consistent direction for quite a while down here. You guys are making me do sedimentology. <laughs> yeah, you're I welcome. Have a, I have another sediment question for you. Yeah? Um, where does the sand come from? Yes. Mm, Which that is a good question. I'm guessing this is pretty fine-grained sediment. Um, yeah, and then we see some of that uh, larger-grained barnacle uh, detritus. I'm kind of in the middle there. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm guessing that this is uh, some stuff getting deposited um, where the current has, uh, where the current is no longer energetic enough to uh, uh, carry a sediment load. Okay. But um, if it is, if it really is super fine grained, uh, it could have been transported over pretty pretty long distance, uh, or not. It's it's hard to say. Sure. It's easier to carry the smaller particles for longer distances. Makes sense. Yeah. Now, can I further put you on the spot? Sure. What would constitute an area where we would take a, a push core, a sediment push core? Um, wherever the sediment's deep enough that we can get uh, the push core to hang on to um, the, uh, the sediment. I okay. don't know whether that would be here or not, just looking at it. But there is enough sediment to generate ripple marks, so it is a little thicker than we've been seeing in mm -hmm. this area. I don't know if that means like a few centimeters or more, so um, couldn't tell you for sure. Yeah, I didn't know if there were like any specific indicators of that, but yeah, ripple marks were, were one that you said that means it's a little thicker. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah Steve Oskovich says that the sediments on these seamounts are typically uh, foraminifera tests, Bridge, pteropod shells, not. other fine things. Can we make the ship uh, north 30 meters? Pteropod shells. It's yes, uh, that's a lot of pteropods. It's something that Holy geologists, uh, hard rock geologists, just tend to more generally call calcareous ooze, and then we're done with it. So <laughs> it's good to know a little bit more about what's in those sediments. I think that that might be one of the most dismissive jargon words I've ever heard. <laughs> um, we just literally don't know what it is. Yeah. So. Um, oh, 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 for sure. But yeah, I just think it's it, funny to be like, oh, that's ooze. <laughs> it's like hard rock and not hard rock. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> We're yeah, it's a bad habit. Oh, I I think it's a good habit. Yeah, Kylie's, we can always uh, improve. Jeremy Horowitz was saying that it's also possible we may be looking uh, for a more of a hybrid bathopathy, so it won't have a lot of those secondary pinules, but uh, just a couple of the branch of uh, the branches might. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, he's gonna give us a picture. Yeah. Oh, like, Kylie, I figured out what was going on with uh, the painful text on my window. Yes, uh, yes. At some point, the uh, window for the chat got zoomed out to 80%. Ah, Raj. So yeah. it's back at 100% and uh, much easier reading. Little Excellent. fish. My eyes don't zoom like that. So. That's Let's okay. See. What are we looking at fish-wise there? Oh. Um, rat tail? Is that right? got that vertical it's vertical uh, oh it kind of looks like a kumba fit. is that right Chris a kumba a cura kumba all right full wide please we're looking for periodic pinules oh, still ah, rusty thanks, Jeremy. yeah okay yeah I think we did see something like that earlier but hopefully alive looking yeah, it's a little bit of nodule fuel uh, that we're kind of moving out of here and what looked like some potato shaped rocks Go ahead. I don't know whether those are hyaloclastites or not, but sometimes uh, the potato-shaped rocks have hyaloclastite in them. Oh, good. I got it. Chris mm -hmm. confirms it's a kumbas. 
I got it eventually. <laughs> Good job. I had a question. What are those worm-looking things coming out of the ground? Uh, do you mean like, like these things right here? Oh, the bamboo whips. Is that what they're referring to? Perhaps. I think so. Yeah, those are, it's bamboo coral. Uh, there's a bunch of polyps working its way up that, um, that single stem. We've seen some that are like... Go ahead and push on in there partial, please. A couple meters sometimes. That's good. Interesting rock morphologies around here. Full wide, please. <laughs> Do you see Chris's comment? <laughs> Onshore science team suggested changing terminology from potato rocks to ostrich eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think that I think that may work. Yeah, it well, offers we can have both. a little just eggs and potatoes. Quality. That's a good combo. It's a nice breakfast. It's a nice dinner too, honestly. Potatoes. Like breakfast for dinner? I'm kind of all about that at back at home. I think there's whole business models set up around that. There are. I'm a big fan of breakfast for dinner. It's just good. It's just good. <laughs> also, I think what happened was when it was my dad's turn to cook, he would make eggs because that's what he knew how to cook. <laughs> it sounds like what my and dad that was would for do sometimes. Dinner, I know. <laughs> sometimes I sometimes it's because that's what sounds good. Sometimes it's just because you get home from the lab and you're just so tired. You're just like, you know what? I'm gonna do the low effort thing. That also tastes wonderful, and also goes with uh, a nice hot sauce. Can you yeah. tell we haven't had our dinner yet? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, these this look like little pillow lavas. They're kind of blabe. This is such a different dive. Every dive has been so different. Yeah. So I was processing some of the rocks downstairs just now uh, and getting a look at their interiors. And uh, I still don't know which of those for sure is intrusive or not. But um, I think I, I'm seeing a chemical differentiation series, just like stuff that's been progressively more crystalline. So I need to go put some of these on a map and go back to some of the stills and uh, get a little better, uh, just refresh myself on the sampling really context for those, because uh, it's cool. Yeah, that's exciting. Those wow. were so okay. different than anything else. Yeah. That was referring to the last dive that we did, where we I found some very on. different um, geology happening. Yeah. Oh, man, it was so cool. Mm -hmm. Columnar basalts. Yeah. yeah. You know, that was only for yeah. that span that you guys were on shift, Sorry, which is amazingly uh, It was fortuitous. fortuitous. <laughs> yeah, because as soon as we came on watch after you, it, it just kind of petered out and went to like sort of a rubble field. And then there were there was a continuous flow for a bit. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, yeah. It looks like you guys got on top of something there. I, I mm -hmm. stayed up for a few minutes after uh, getting off watch and then decided that, yes, I did need to sleep. Um, <laughs> and it looked quite a bit different. Yeah. And we haven't seen any of that since, but I'm no. not really expecting that because we don't really have any more of those, uh, you know, there's no sheared face like that on this dive. This is a much lower ridge, so it's more likely to stay intact. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Look at all this Chrysogorgia. I know. Ah, oh, it's just stunning. I want to make paintings out of these. That would be really cool. <laughs> We've seen so many of them on this dive, just like forests of them. Meadows and forests of Chrysogorgia. Yeah. Our biology team uh. in the chat is so happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> that little squat lobster there at the top of that dead stalk. Yeah. It's a weird spot for it to be. Up high, though. Oh, yeah. Not hi. a lot of protection, does it? <laughs> and you know what's been really interesting on this dive is we haven't seen um, the uh, brittle stars as associates, yeah, yeah, uh, that is we've, true. we've seen, I think, like two all dives so far. And instead, we've been seeing um, in some of the, the hemichorallium, uh, they have uh, sea anemone associates instead. Yeah, I was just talking with uh, Beth as we were changing, and she was saying that's very similar to what the, these guys experience here on this watch. Yeah, so it's okay. Been consistent. Not sure. Do we do we have any understanding or hypotheses why that might be, or is this just like another one of those, uh, you know, just kind of this is unique to this kind of ecosystem? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> that would be interesting to hear. Um, okay, it well, would be. We no, it's, are it's looking a hypothetical. At, I don't have an answer for um, it yet, but it's, it's an sort interesting of a thing to think about. Sort basalt flow and lots of chrysogorgia, like a meadow of it, an entire forest of it. Yeah. Sorry, I couldn't figure out the buttons back here, but we'll just do it that way. We're, st we're still getting it's beautiful. singular bathopathies every now and again. Hmm. Yeah, we've been seeing a lot of those this dive. Yeah, just not really in any kind of density, though. Yeah. We didn't really see any on uh, Luden the last dive. At least not yeah, many. Yeah, people were commenting about that, huh? Yeah. We had a question about... This? Uh, why we sometimes turn off the lasers? Uh, that's so that sometimes we can get a better still shot of our sample without these two little gleaming eyes in the middle of them um, is one of them. And I don't know if it has anything to do with uh, yes. also piloting. So that might be a Chris, secondary Chris, question. I think you were off SPL row. for that Chris, question. Chris, Chris, uh, another move north, uh, 30 meters, please. I use the lasers to try and get a size of some of the samples three zero, or an yeah. estimate of a size. Uh, sorry, of the yeah, three, that uh, we're 30 meters north. Yeah, mm -hmm. it also permits us to get a gauge. Um, since we don't have uh, depth perception with the cameras, uh, it gives us a gauge of how far away we are from something, too. But um, sometimes we really want to capture those spectacular stills. So, um, yeah, just to, just to capture just the aesthetic. So uh, uh, sometimes we do turn the lasers off for that. Hey, Kylie, do you have a sense of how steep this is that we're looking at? Is it, I'm looking at our contour maps, but it looks almost like a wall in front of me, but I'm sure that's just the 2D. Oh, she might be busy. Oh. Oh, pretty Annabelle. decent slope going. Annabelle is speedy, Whoa. so uh, I'll hand it back over to her. Go eat some dinner. Ta -ta. She just has to get back to all that biology. <laughs> I know. I think the microbiologist is hooked, right? <laughs> Question coming in from North Carolina. Uh, ooh, what is ooh, the ooh, my home state? What is all the right. prettiest organism and the scariest organism oh. you've seen in your travels? Oh man, that's hard. I kind of like the metallogorges. Yeah, they're so sparkly. Scariest organism? Maybe me when I've not had enough sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> uh, scary. Mostly I just get goofy though. That's not that fish scary. Up there. The scariest organisms I've ever seen are the zooplankton under the microscope. Ooh. Oh, wow. Anytime, good point. Anytime I look at those, I'm like, oh, I'm so glad they're so small because if they were bigger, yeah. I would be so scared. <laughs> oh, I got a picture to show you. Oh, no. Kind of no. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm excited now. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like nightmare fuel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Amphipods like the Fish size of the my hand. Oh, a little fishy. Nice yeah. spot, Chris. That one looks a little different than the ones that we've seen. It's a little bigger. At all. A question about how do we choose where to look on the seamounts? Um, our scientists and uh, others in charge here are looking for specific kinds of environments and so once we get a map of the seafloor in the area that we're going to be exploring they pick a set of waypoints maybe and then as we ascend the seamount um, based on uh, which ways the currents are going and other features that we are noticing we'll make our way up either more east, more west, or more right on the ridge. And 
looks like here again we're moving into some of those large uh, hemichorallium fans uh, on the tops mm. of the rocks where uh, uh, they get a pretty good uh, uh, pretty good dose of the current. One thing we were seeing on the 12 to 4 watch is uh, when you get these uh, uh, the hemichorallium up on the uh, the higher points of the rocks, you tend to see um, a lot of the uh, 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 uh sitting a little bit below them stratigraphically. Oh. So they tend to collect more of the uh, uh, bases, of those big rocks. Huh. So it's, it's an interesting little uh, way that they're sorting themselves out. Did you see the same uh, thing that we were looking at right before I went to dinner with like barnacles on rocks with no corals and then corals on rocks with no barnacles r right next to it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We did see that. I think so, yeah. We saw some pretty extensive uh, barnacle coverage um, earlier in the uh, in our watch, too. Mm. Just Bridge, this is now thick. Another coverage. move north uh, 30 meters. Uh, Asako went yes, back yes. in the video at one point and said that we had been seeing just like continuous barnacles on rocks for uh, something like two hours and 40 minutes. Whoa. Yeah. That's so cool. And did the barnacles look alive to you? Uh, or could you not really tell? I guess. I'm not really sure. Yeah. We zoomed in. I think that at least some. All right. Were. My turn for dinner. So uh, I'm going to let Beth take back over. Bye, Val. And a question about whether we get to exercise when we're on an expedition. We do have a uh, workout room. So there are opportunities to uh, do some exercise. It's also a a spot or two to do pull-ups on the... Yeah. Yeah. And this is an interesting ship. thing to work out in that room because the ship is moving as yeah. well. So you get on a treadmill and then you're m the ship is moving and the <laughs> treadmill is moving and you better hang on. Yep. So there's also... Fun times. There's a erg and we are a rower and we're playing... Oh, yes. Lynette's back so we can talk about the fish game now. <laughs> um, as soon as she puts on her headset, I'm like patiently <laughs> waiting. Um, we'll see when she gets on SPL. But there's a there's a rowing game called the fish game, and everyone's competing right now. Um, Linda is winning. I just saw she got above 2,000 points, which what? is very impressive. Yeah, Lynette, are you on SPL? Yes, I am. I'm talking about the fish game and how you just made it over 2,000 points. She is dominating. Yeah. Also. I found out it was Paul who was changing my score. Oh. He thought it would be funny to to make the person who was losing be the person <laughs> who was winning. Stinker. <laughs> Stinker makes stinker pants. So he put, Ridiculous. he gave me 1,700 instead of 700 and then gave me 2,000 <laughs> instead of 1,000. He should have just like taken it. Right? I know. Just not said anything. I know. And then he, he confessed because I was, I was telling him, I was like, someone just keeps changing my <laughs> points. I don't know who it is. And he came clean. Okay, all right, fair enough. So the do so we the know if Val wants a rock at this waypoint? She did not mention anything. Uh, we have seen a fair bit of these little sediment pockets um, up here. Can we get a partial zoom on this lighter colored rock right here? Yeah, sure thing. Thanks, Jess. Looks potatoey. We just watched. We had been collecting a rock around each waypoint. Yeah, that's why I was asking because yeah. I realized we. She did not go to specifically there. say anything, so it's good. Come a little wide. Oh, and that, that rock is different. It is different. Well, so, partial, put a closer zoom. Gotta push that? on anymore. Yeah, yeah, please. Looks like a sponge or. I don't know. I think it's similar. It's got the, um, if you look at the bottom here, it's got this holy texture. It's kind of like these carbonate pieces we saw on a previous dive. Thanks. You can come wide. Pull wide, please. Still not sure why it is just randomly here. Interesting. I got a couple of nice stills of it. Yeah, let us know if you guys want to rock, and we'll uh, pick one up. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> let me That's look at the... <laughs> Still, oh, oxygen's going back up. Interesting. Okay. So we had a question about what time it is here. We're Our ship is operating on Hawaii time. Whether we're actually in that time zone, I don't, don't know. But uh, it's about uh, 5.25 right now. PM. PM. 
Thanks. Uh, we've got about six and a half hours left on this dive. We'll be back up on deck by midnight our time. Bridge nav. Can we move three zero meters bearing zero zero five, please? Thank you. We have a barnacle joke. What did the whale say to the barnacle? I used to think you were just a bottom feeder, but now you're starting to grow on me. <laughs> Aww. Aww. That's Aww. awesome. Nice joke. Cute. Very cute. I have a joke for you guys. Yeah. yeah. What do you call an alligator that's really good at directions? Nav a navigator. navigator. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Navigational <laughs> joke. <laughs> Yeah, well, this is just strangely placed rocks here. Lynette, what was that move that you just put in? Uh, that? Three zero meters bearing zero zero five. Raj. Okay, we got a little swimming shrimp off on our left hand side, just out of the frame. One of the things we were commenting on right when we were starting our dinner shift, switch over, was that. Uh, these hemichorallium, no, sorry, the uh, Chrysogorgia that we're seeing. All right, don't have we switch it off again. <laughs> Careful. Jeez Louise. Um, don't seem to have brittle stars, but do seem to have little associated shrimp or um, squat lobsters. So we're, the front row is switching out, so it'll be a bit chaotic for a moment. Bear with us. In the meantime, Chris Kelly has a joke. Why did the jelly roll? Why? Because it saw the apple turnover. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Food jokes are the best. <clears throat> yeah, if any of our other listeners want to send us jokes. <laughs> yeah, free. jokes, 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 jokes. Looks, what a, let's have a partial zoom on that when you're settled, Trevor. Consider me settled. A little fish down there. Mm. Oh, I think we saw. Yeah, that's we just saw one, one of these fitted fish. Was that how? The bitty. Okay, thanks, Steve. Yeah, thanks. What did you say it was, Leela? It's one of the ophidiform fish. Um, I think it looks like the bethytidae. I wonder what it's doing down there. Or basagigas. Compared to our last dive, uh, which was where, Loudon, right? We didn't see many fish yeah. at below 1,500 meters, but over here, I think we're seeing fish deeper more frequently. Another little shrimp swimming in the center of the frame. <laughs> okay, I have to tell you all this joke because I just I have to. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> how does Santa keep track of the bad sea creatures? The bad sea creatures? Mm -hmm. oh. With the naughty -less. <laughs> mm. <laughs> How oh did you know my that? Gosh. <laughs> he puts them on the naughty list. Or they put they put it naughty list. Not <laughs> That's super clever. Thank you. Yeah. Nautilus themed jokes are great. We love that. Thank you. This is a so wonderful little view of the shrimp. shrimp. <laughs> it is. How big are it's very dynamic. The shrimps down here? I think they varied in size. We've seen different sizes. Bash. So it looks like we're coming up on a steep slope here. Have we sort of 
come out of the very dense coral fan <laughs> zone we were in? Maybe. It's hard to tell. Yeah. I was like, wait, where did they all go? Bridge nav. Is it possible to increase the light on her Can we cam? move another or three just zero meters bearing I'll just come zero down zero lower. five, okay. please? Thank but also, you. yes. Yeah, totally. Leila, how are we doing on sample space? We have got For plenty still. Potential rock samples. We have two free starboard bio boxes, but also okay. room in the bigger, in the other one. Yeah. You might want to try to collect a sample. Mm -hmm. You want to try to collect a sample? Maybe. Not not right this second. I don't not this second. Kind of look around. Looks like we see some broken pillows here, so it might be a, a good good area, maybe. Um, and we just called in a ship's move, correct? Uh, we did, yes. Okay. But I can have them stop at any time? Yeah, it's okay. We're, we're good right now. Okay. I'm just, I'm going to be focusing on the rocks for the next few minutes. See if there's something good to sample. And um, Lynette, how far is waypoint six from us? About 600 meters. Okay. There goes a few. They're back. Lynette, do you mind um, zooming out on high pack so I can see what's beyond waypoint six? Sure. Okay, so there'd be a little saddle in between here and the next little pseudo summit. Okay, thank you. Yep. Mm -hmm. Looks like it gets really steep on the east side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's intense. I'm wondering is if, as we move up this, if we maybe want to try swinging over to the east, if the current's not too bad, doesn't push us into the wall. Okay. What do we think about that, Trevor? Sounds fun to me. Okay, yeah, so... Um, Lynette, as you call in ship's moves, maybe try to move us a little bit more eastward. Okay, sure. Yeah. Thank you. And why eastward, not westward? Oh, just because we will get to the steep sooner? Because of the steepness, yeah. Yeah, Raj. And since it seems that the, where we were before, the current was coming from that direction, if that holds true, then maybe we would see more sure. cool. cliff-attached things. Not sure if this question was already answered earlier for the person wondering, but this um, was a 16-hour dive, or it's a 16-hour dive, so um, just about three quarters of the way through. So there's one more watch after us um, that will sort of uh, complete the dive. So a little, little while longer, a couple more hours to go. Yeah, so we'll probably be on the seafloor for another mm -hmm. ten, uh, five hours. Mm -hmm. Around midnight, maybe? Well, we'll up. be recovering at midnight yeah. our mm -hmm. time, but yeah. we'll be off bottom within about five hours. Yeah. Bridge nav. Can we move three zero meters bearing zero two five, please? Thank you.
<laughs> Where do whales go to get braces? Mm. Where? Orchidontists. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, you guys. You guys are clever out there. <laughs> can we get a partial zoom on this little spongy thing? Yes, we can. All right, Steve, go ahead. Oh, it's different than I was thinking. I thought it was going to be a little ball. Yeah, okay. Okay, thanks. Is that Thank a little you. sponge? Yes. There's another one of these vase sponges up here. Mm -hmm. you, know, you want to zoom or just noting? Just noting. <clears throat> Feeling a bit more current now, same direction. Coming from the east? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we're coming over to the steeper side. And your orientation right now is about uh, northeast. It looks like the fans are facing east. Mm -hmm. A couple black corals on the left side. Oh, yeah. Look at that polished rock. Oh, yeah, that's, that's really beautiful. shiny. Aww. That's super Whoa. shiny. Wow. <coughs> Oh, this rock fans. got a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> or is it a mohawk? Ooh, yeah. Ooh, mohawk. Mohawk. Mm -hmm. mohawk. Yeah, mohawk. Love it. For sure. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. That they're all on the edge and not on the yeah, side. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like that in a lot of places. That is, hmm. I think we're all in our after dinner coma here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, this is a pretty backside view of this. Yeah. This fan coral. It's interesting how the coral on the right is like white at the bottom and then pink all the way around. Yeah. Oh, and this one. This too, one is too. Yeah. The camera, I was yeah. like, this the one is too. The tissue is missing there at the bottom. Yeah. Oh, is that what that is? Mm-hmm. Yikes. Does that mean it's not doing well? Well, that one in the front doesn't seem to be doing too well. <laughs> <laughs> Do they all have some tissue missing at the bottom? No, it looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. A good question. They're precious corals, so they should have pink sclerites. And if they're white, that means that even that like pink outer sclerite layer is missing. And you're just mm -hmm. seeing the calci underneath. Mm. Interesting. So you go into your menu, which is uh, it's in the middle of the arrows on your intercom. And then you go to audio options, which is a punch in on your uh, volume knob. And then you t toggle right until you... Um, sorry, um, top knob, sorry, yep, and then uh, toggle right to side tone, and then punch it in, sorry, I'm on SPL here, giving Trevor some instructions, I'll hop off. It's okay, yeah, you're good. Mm. Nice little ship's roll there. Mm -hmm to help with a nap feeling. <laughs> Bridge nav. Uh, menu. Can we move three zero meters bearing zero three five, please? 
Um, just wait then, it might just go away. Um, can we move three zero meters bearing zero three five, please? Thank you. Trevor, when you get a moment, could we get a partial on this sponge? Yeah, Roger. So what I was explaining to Trevor was how to uh, adjust his side tone, which is how much you hear yourself when you speak. Yeah. If anybody Ooh. wants to adjust that up or down, uh, I can walk you through it sometime. It's helpful to know if your mic is live or not. Yeah. You're going to cough or whatever. Okay, zoom in, please. Mm. Wow. Oh, that's pretty. Beautiful. Okay. What is it? Yeah, mm -hmm. we're on it. Looking, looking. Is it a left royal of some kind? No chance of sampling this one, is there? I don't think so, because we've seen it on other dives. Okay, come wide, please. We sampled something similar, didn't we? I think so. Chris Kelly is letting us know that it's a uretid, not a lefriella. The sponge that we were just looking at. Mm. Yeah, I got too specific. Lefriella is below uretid. But I don't know the uretids well. Oh, hi. You know more than we do. Absolutely. <laughs> Rebelier here. No interest in rock still. I am interested, but I'm. I'm still looking for my Goldilocks rock. Goldie rocks. <laughs> Want to get something that captures a nice um, in situ of the basalts here. And is this still rocks that you're looking for in that specific oxygen region, or is this? No, these else? aren't for me. These oh, are for Val. Val. Okay. Yeah. Way up ahead, there's one of those stocked sponges. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Atlanta I'm excited view. for that. Calafagus. Yeah. This whole rock's going to be good. Yeah, so as we're coming to the steeper part, which you can definitely see in high pack, the ship is moving us towards a steeper area. What's this yellow crusty stuff? I don't know what the yellow crusty stuff is. How are you doing with current here? It's it's coming up, but it's okay. all right. You're okay to keep moving yep. more east? Do on the yellow crusty okay. stuff? Yeah, more east is fine. Okay. Oh, and there's a little fish. Oh, yeah. I almost didn't see that. That's a small fish. Still not sure what the yellow crusty okay. stuff is, Trevor. Thanks. Come wide. I'll check out this sponge. Bridge nav. Actually, Lynette, hold on a ship's move, if oh, you don't mind. Stand by. In case we want to get a rock. Zoom in, please, Steve. You can follow the sponge up. Wow, look at that whole glass. Signature Trevor shot here. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely a signature move. Building suspense. Nice. <laughs> oh, Ooh, look wow. at that. Ooh, oh. Aww. 
<laughs> Keep it together, Trevor. <laughs> it's the Trevor-Steven combo. <laughs> yeah. um, so Trevor, what I might ask you to do next after we yeah. finish taking the shot is um, if we can come down a little Couple bit wide. to the um, below this little knoll feature and see if there's some rocks that we can sample. Right below it here? Yeah, either Kay. here or to our left. Uh, whatever you think can set you up. I would rather go past it okay. just because the ships m move. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we still got some swing, of course, so. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. That works. Do we know what type of sponge that was that we just saw, the stalked one? Caliphagus. Caliphagus. I believe, until yep. someone corrects me. <laughs> <laughs> so, see if I can get over this r little ridge here and then we'll... Okay. And if not, I'll come back. No problem. At the base of these features is usually somewhere where we can find pieces that are broken off. Yeah. So. Hmm. Although, <laughs> the it base. Gets, yeah, the Look base might have sponge. left us behind. That is a large stock sponge that's now dead. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay, well, we'll all stay here then. We can make it work below this feature here. Okay. Uh, what do I want to do? Yeah, right here's fine. Corallium. Yeah, so there's some broken faces here that might be good. Yeah. Broken faces. Oops. Yeah. Oh dear. Hmm. Hard part's going to be finding somewhere to land. Okay. Yeah. Right. Because it's so dense. With it's very dense. Mm -hmm. Even on the other side of that previous knoll. Okay. Uh, look left a little bit. It's even high up for a mid-water grab. These bamboos are really, really long. I'll zip over here right quick. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is incredible okay. density. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I'm going to come off bottom a bit and see what I can see. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah, wow. probably the places where there's clearing, it's not the kind of rock we want. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, There's the problem. Of course. Yeah. The irony. Yeah. The irony. It's okay. If we can't sample, we'll just keep going and uh, we'll wait till we find something where we can. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Lynette, you can put in that ship's move if Trevor's okay, okay with it. Yeah. Bridge nav. Can we move three zero meters bearing zero three five, please? Thank you. How's the current feeling for you, Ashton? I'm not feeling it too much. Everything's going okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and maybe as we get over onto the side of this might want to um, Trevor go off stick and just see how it pushes us yeah it's going pretty good left uh, sorry right to left but yep okay that's fine yeah so still coming from our east over towards the west mm -hmm. see the little bits floating by yep mm -hmm. and we can see those laser lines really well so lots in the water yep It's a cool Herc view. Mm -hmm. So we can see Herc is almost due north, uh, facing almost due north, and you can see that the fans are kind of tilted towards the northeast with their concave side. Might give us an indication of how the current is moving. bringing food to these organisms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amazing how much better the Atlanta view looks when there's no waves and weather. 
<laughs> so stable. And so stable. Yeah. Yeah, can we get an outside view on Channel it's 3, on Stephen? Gimbal. So Roger. our audience can experience the lovely view we have out when we're outside. Also a nice view of Herc right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. in the Atlanta yeah, camp, for sure. Yeah, it's zoom. Should I? Real calm out there. Should I pay out a little bit, or should I keep it kind of high over here, Trevor? Are uh, you good. Your altitude's the same as the Delta, okay. so no, no problem. Can we get a partial on this sponge coming into the right-hand yes, side? Yes, we can. Thanks for that, Stephen. No worries. Oh, Diane, thank you. <laughs> oh, is the chocolate coming back around? A little bit after it or caffeine? Yes. There's Watch always data. candy floating around for folks <laughs> watching. And occasionally dried fungi, but... Um, Absolutely. Zoom in on this, please. Skip over that one. Thanks for that. All Thank right. you, Diane. Look at the one to the left as Thank well. Thank you very much, Yeah, Diane. there's another one. We, we see those a lot now. Even right. one actually below. Yeah, there's one hiding back in the crevice there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Steve. These rocks are really crumbly with yeah. uh, manganese, ferromanganese crust on them. And all the fans are pointed down. Yeah. yeah interesting. Yeah, wow, look at that Herc view in the Atalanta cam. Yeah. Fantastic. Man, really who great. is piloting that thing? <laughs> <laughs> the fans just look like millions of butterflies on the rock face. They like flutter. Oh, that's so cool. You're so right. I love how they're like hanging, like sticking out. Sometimes I forget that like they're on the side, like coming out like mm -hmm. this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think our analogies here are also shaped by watching a short monarch documentary yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. I know I didn't finish that one. I need to see. <laughs> you okay with another move? The other thing it reminds me Bridge of is those leaf cutter ants where they're all like oh, three zero yeah. meters very like lined up in a row. Three zero, like carrying the leaves on their back mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. The Edward scissor hands. Farming fungi. Mm, mm -hmm. Look at those colors. Oh my goodness. And, and these the are so just so massive and beautiful nice and so abundant and dense and. Yeah, so we mostly have these hemicorallium, but we have a, occasionally, it looks like a chrysogorgia, and there's also a norella up here. I hope I'm getting those names right. <laughs> Bamboo whip is coming into frame. Oh, potentially a spot to sit down. Uh, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. But yeah, but this rock is too rubbly. Oh, of course. Yeah. We'll find it. We'll we find, will. We'll find it. Mm, look at the view ahead. Herc. Yeah, that's a nice feature. We're not going to be going that way a lot, so I'll just zip over that way now and follow it down slope. Okay. Yeah, it almost looks like what we're crossing over now kind of broke off at some point. Yeah. Because this is a sheet flow over here. Oh, yeah. Check that out. And it must have just slid down the mountain at some point. We get a still cam shot. Wow, that's so yep. stark. Yeah. That's, um, thank you. Incredible. This actually might be a good place to try to get a sample. Okay. We um, can hold the ship here. Bridge nav. Can we hold position here, please? Thank you. You want to start with this one, and if we run out of time, I'll take over? Yeah, that sounds great. I think we can do it. Um, come wide on Atlanta, please. Come wide. And I'll take a reset, too, please. Thank you. Yeah, you can come down on Delta. Okay, coming down. You can see how shiny the rock is here. Beautiful, isn't it? Scouring. Really gorgeous. So in this zone, right in front of the bumper, yeah. looks okay? 
think so. I'm trying to see if there's pieces that look like they broke off this, and I'm thinking that that's these pieces okay, over yeah. here, as opposed to what's right in front of us, which is the, what was underneath the pavement. Mm. Let's see. If I land on that rock, that'll give us a good access there. Ooh, not like that. There we go. Well, that is shiny. Hmm. Might be a bit on the far side, but I'll see what happens. Okay, you can put the bubble oh, on the craft right. and then get the craft out. Sounds great. Ashton, do you mind if our audience uh, watches you with a manipulator? <laughs> or, or does that make you nervous? Oh, no, it's just fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you mind um, showing me which rock it was, though? Yeah, so these look the most promising, although they seem big. So okay. maybe if we start with this one right here. Okay. Might be a good target. Let's give it a shot. And Beth, this is for Val's work? This is for Val. Yeah. Watch light coming on. Try to get All some right, of this thank you. later stage flow. All right, getting situated over here. All right. Steve, you can zoom in on Atlanta again, please. Roger. All right. A bit slow. Get this one. Thinking this out. Okay. See if you could do a little more. I think I got it lined up a bit better now. Try to stay on top of it. Sorry, Sorry. Uh, Atalanta. I did, yeah, I did that. Hit the rock <laughs> controller over here. Oh, thank you. Oh, the Atalanta view is just fantastic. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Thank you. So oh, this might yeah. be a little far there, Ashton, so we'll see how it goes. Okay. Uh, we'll Let's see what I can reach. Let's see if I can maybe like tap it first. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. Pretty far. Oh, reaching. You see in Atlanta, you got about a meter to go. Ah. Oh. And again, you call can for Zeus. Can we get Zeus some frame zooms grabs so that we can okay. capture yep. this uh, Atlanta view? Yep. I've got both. Great. Oh, I, I can touch. The far one, maybe? Oh, yeah, it's loose, too. the far Great. one is loose. Oh, nice. Okay, you won't be able to grab it, though, so get out of there, and I'll move it a little bit forward. Okay. Just the very end of the fingertips. I'm trying to grab the cookie jar on the top shelf. <laughs> Not quite tall enough. Want me to reach high or want me to? I want you to just get right out of there. <laughs> that means shoulder up, elbow in. Okay. That's the idea. Yeah, keep that going. Okay. Whoa. That moves pretty much all your right hand. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna move over there now. Okay, that should get you where you're going. Okay. All right, Thank Steve, you can you. come wide on Atalanta now. Not able to hold that heading with this tether angle. for me. Yep, totally. So, thank you. This one? Yes. Okay. Oh, 
Uh, this is going to eventually end up in the starboard box? Correct. Okay. Yeah, if it's small enough, it can go in D. Delta, roger. Or it can go in echo okay, let's if it's see. too big. Reaching. You might need to kind of come at it like this because of the okay. underhang, overhang, whatever. You think like uh, 90 degrees from where that gripper is at? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, that might be harder. You have to feather it on the way in, but. Okay, maybe. To get us some extra scope here, I'm going to turn Atalanta away from Hercules. So don't be alarmed when the screen goes black. Okay. Turn on a light just so everyone feels comfortable. <laughs> yeah. I'm not key. laughing at you, Ashton. <laughs> I'm Trevor. laughing at me. All right. Let me get this thing ergonomic. Hmm. Is this the guy? That's it, that's it, yeah. Nice. Ah, let me lock that in. Okay. So, you might be okay with that grab. It might be a little tenuous. Let's see. It looks pretty tenuous, but... So uh, Steven, can you zoom in, please? Thank you. It looks solid enough to keep it, so... Okay. I'll try not to and drop this And that's a pretty guy. good size. Yeah, so it's yeah. between 10 and 15 centimeters. We like it. I'm holding it with two fingers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a very nice sample. We'll go yes. ahead and keep it. Woohoo! All right, Stephen, can we come full wide, please? Thank you. And we're going to starboard. Starboard, starboard side, yeah. Delta. Okay. Yeah. So um, get the arm kind of up and close to the vehicle, and then I'm going to restabilize. i got to secure that starboard thruster. So. Okay. You do have floaties in exactly. floaty biological in that Just box. Bring it nice and close in. Okay. And don't, don't go around the starboard side yet. Okay. Will not let me get it the rest of the way in. So I'm pull that elbow in. Okay, that looks pretty good there. If you shoulder up a bit, then you're well tucked in, and then I'll do a little stabilization here. All right. Okay, I'm see how this hold. goes here. Oops, that's the wrong button. Don't do that. Let's see, that looks pretty good. I think you can start going around the starboard side. Okay, let's give it a shot. So for some context there, back row, or yep. viewers at home, what I'm doing there when there's floaty stuff is securing the starboard vertical thruster, turning it totally off. So to keep us pushed against the ground, I'm only using the port thruster. Yeah. Which and means part it changes our landing configuration, so it's got to mm -hmm. gotta be cautious when I do that. Sure. And the reason we're doing that for any audience members that weren't with us earlier, we collected a sponge uh, specimen earlier, and it's relatively light and delicate, and so we don't want to flush it out of the box. Mm -hmm. Do you want the sample salvo to make those bigger? Uh, that would be helpful, yes, sample please. Sample salvo coming up. Sample salvo coming up. Okay. <laughs> All right. Think about how this move works. Ah. Well, that elbow. So I think that one will fit in Delta. Oh, it should definitely fit in Delta. Better than Nicely. the other day's Delta yeah. bit. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> How is my approach here? Should I? That's the right angle there, yeah. Okay. And you just extendo. Extendo. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll just do a, sw a lateral swing over. Well, so now remember you're all you're all, I'm all caught twisty. up with her, the pitch there. Okay. And you're gonna be going to the far box. So you're gonna need as much reach as you got. So. See
If you straighten that all out, that'll help you out a lot. Okay. So keep the shoulder up for now. Okay. Thanks for the training on Just this. Just work on your lower joints. Okay. The left hand joints or? Uh, half left hand, one. half right hand. Okay. That's correct, yeah. Okay. Can't That's looking great, yeah, nice and straight. Okay. Can't quite see where it's at. No. You're all swung out. Okay. Am I safe to bring it in? Um. Okay. Hey, I might have to, we're getting pulled, so we're going to yeah, fall off pulled. station. I might okay. have to jump in, sorry. Let me hand it over to you. No, that's okay. Just in the interest thank of you. expediosity. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I see Hurricane Argus is Atlanta's butt cam, so. Okay, yeah. can you please open Thanks the box? For the training. Yes. Yeah, you, you would have had it. You're on the right track. Okay, awesome. You can open it out now. Opening. You see, we're getting tugged pretty good here. Okay. Oh, there's a good tug. Ah. Okay. Come on. All right, it's in D. All right, thank you. Good work, thanks, Trevor. Thanks nice for the job, training. Ashton and Trevor. Nice yeah, job, great Ashton. teamwork. You Absolutely. Guys did great. All right, now we gotta go. Thanks, team. <laughs> Before we are. get out of here. <laughs> Seeing the Zeus cam, I'm getting all rocked. All right, then box is closed. I can enable my thruster, and we're out of here. Pew, pew. <laughs> all right, I can ac answer this one person's question. <laughs> Want to make sure we had the focus. Uh, we have not seen the whale shark from this morning. <laughs> sadly, 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 it is um, gone away. Um, but never know. Yes, one, two, nine on yeah, that. Yeah, for, okay. for those of you who did. Can you keep that it's constant delta right now? I could come back. Yes. You can spin the head back around as you, okay. as you can, but that's a good delta there. Okay, sounds great. And I should swing to starboard? To port. To port. Okay. Okay, when you are ready for move, let me know. Yeah, Roger. Probably 30 seconds. Okay. Yeah. Almost have her in view. Dun, dun, dun. Woo. Hey there, buddy. There it goes. What was that sound? Oh. Yeah. Okay, now I can turn this off. <laughs> Thank you. Whew. Oh. All right. All right. Can you please secure so your porch light? Yes, sir. And we're back. <laughs> porch light secure. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your patience as I learned that arm, guys. No, it's really great. interesting seeing your hands move and then trying to, like, <laughs> match that with what the, the arm is doing. So. Totally. Yeah, yeah we're, we're learning totally along with you, Ashton. Ashton. We really Coming are. Down. I'm like, wait, okay. So she, okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's a weird, it's a weird <laughs> mental exercise trying to train your hand and brain to read. I know. <laughs> read the craft arm. <laughs> okay, are you ready? I'm ready now, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Bridge nav. What are we doing? Are we going to follow the contour? Can we move three zero meters bearing zero three zero, please? Thank you. Yeah, maybe we follow contour a little bit, and then we'll come up to waypoint six. Yeah, Roger that. Yep. Okay. So I don't know that we need to keep going east. All right. Do you want to cancel this move, or just keep just do the next one, Beth? Uh, I'm not sure. What? Um, how far down do we think that'll bring uh, us? We're just moving thirty just meters. Thirty meters is not so not so far. Yeah. Like okay. That much. So that, yeah, the ship's moves fine. And then we'll start moving more northward. Okay. Raj. Stephen, you got a shout out. Um, someone's really grateful that you're seamlessly shifting all of the uh, different views into satellite feed three. So. Thank you. They're really <laughs> grateful for you. Thank you. So I are we. That Go watching. Steven. <laughs> 
so my chocolate had a really relevant, uplifting message oh, in I it. Oh, I forgot the message. <laughs> what was it? Mine is, <laughs> hands are meant to be held. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> Just did a whole lot of hand no. holding. <laughs> Uh, manipulators are meant to be held too. <laughs> <laughs> uh. It's all crumpled. I can't. I think one of the best things about Nautilus is that there's always uh, people learning new yep. roles in the van. Yeah, so agreed. Absolutely. The education goes out to the world and happens within as well. Yep. Yeah. yeah thanks for your patience with all of us newbies, you guys. You're all doing <laughs> great. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, my message is half missing. <laughs> it says, "Are reading this? <laughs> you are beautiful and worth it." Uh, Probably yeah, yeah, yeah. if you. That was mine the other day. Oh, yeah. If you, yeah, if you. I had the hand holding one the other day. <laughs> Anyone else? Mine said, "The quickest way to brighten a room is a smile." <laughs> oh, classic. <laughs> Hey, Steve, could you smile up the video a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> what does this say? Don't stop until you're proud. That's mm. what mine said. That's what nice. Said. <laughs> mine says, inhale the future, exhale the past. I think Ooh, we're that's a, bunch a good of one. That's <laughs> deep. That's a deep one right there. Deep inhale, deep breath. <laughs> So another little feature here where it looks like the overriding pavement fell away mm. and brought all the animals along with it, maybe. And then they mm. get more dense when you see the pavement intact. <laughs> pavement, I like that description. It's very descriptive. Totally tells the right story. Can we get a partial on this yellow feature, yes. which I think we is a plexorid? Hmm. I don't think we've seen one in quite a while. We haven't. I don't think we have yet. Can we pause for just a moment yep. to look at this? Uh, come wide, Steve. I'm going to nestle in there. I think we're good with no ship move. Yeah. I got pretty far ahead. Right as our one of our scientists ashore was going to take a break, they heard like, sorry, and now they're really excited. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen, right? That's exactly, okay, exactly Steve, how ahead. it works. Oh, but it's not a plexor. Okay. Tricked you. Yeah, sorry. Hope your lunch is still exciting. <laughs> um, but it's nice to see something of a different color. I know. I was just about to say this yellow and see if pink. Yeah. Or kind of neon mustard. mustard. Thank you. Mustard. <laughs> I was like more like mustardy. Mustard, yeah. For sure. Dijon coral. Dijon. <laughs> Specifically. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come okay, wide. Okay, you can come wide. So this Ash is actually a black coral. Oh. <laughs> Always. Staropathies. I was thinking it was the color of like a nice beer cheese. Put Ooh. on one of those pretzels. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not hungry. You're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Got some fungus? We just had dinner. <laughs> I know. When I eat healthy here, I feel like it just gets my metabolism going. And 30 minutes later, I'm like, bring on the bread. <laughs> <laughs> Bridge nav. I'm sure there are some table pancakes Can waiting we move for you. Three zero no, meters no. bearing zero oh, zero no, five. Table please. pancakes. <laughs> Little Thank sponge you. there on the lower on the right. Mm -hmm. Nice big chunk of a rock there with mm -hmm. yeah corals yeah. on it. So the contour we're following is around 2,000 meters. We've dropped down a little bit in um, water depth. Mm -hmm. oh, here's a good question. If you were about to stop watching the dive and go to bed, 
what word would bring you back instantly? For them, it's octopus. Yeah. Oh, that's such a good question. That's a, good that's question. a really good question. That's a really yeah. good question. What will make me sacrifice my before. sleep to keep watching the dive? Shipwreck? Oh, yeah. Oh. Plane wreck. Yeah. yeah. Whale fall. Yeah. Whale fall. <laughs> I think just whale. Whale, whale yeah. in general. Yeah, whale. Someone say whale. <laughs> whale shark. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, not on this expedition, but if somebody was like black smoke or hydrothermal mm -hmm. vent, that would get me really excited. <laughs> but on this expedition, it would not get you excited. Oh, it would definitely get me excited. <laughs> That's what you would not expect it at all. Right. Um, I would be like glued to the screen, um, <laughs> but just in general. Beth, have you dove on hydrothermal vents? Yes. I've uh, had the great privilege of being able to go on an expedition to the Endeavour field. Oh, man. oh Isn't cool. that amazing? Yeah. Um, also Middle Valley, wow. which is also on the Wanafuka. Wow. And then uh, the Luihi Seamount here around Hawaii, uh, which is now called Kamaehu a Kanaloa. Um, recently been recommended for a name change. Um, but yeah, there it's not a um, black smoker type hydrothermal vent, but you have a venting of um, warmer waters at uh, that are really iron rich. Where is the Endeavour Field again? The Endeavour Field is offshore of Vancouver, mm. uh, kind of Washington area, mm -hmm. um, at Washington, the U.S., Vancouver, and British Columbia, Canada. Um, on the Wanapuka Ridge. It's now a marine protected area. Oh, nice. As of, I think, a year or two or three ago. Can we get a partial on that shrimp? On the shrimp? Sure. <laughs> go ahead. Yes, I need to see the legs up Spread. close. Here's the go, slippers. go, go! Nice oh, yeah. little sponge in the background. <laughs> Also, there was something corally over on your right so. after shrimp. There's lots oh. of coral. Why shrimp? Which, which coral? It was uh, reddish brown, yellow. Keep going. That. Oh, mm. I see it bottom. Yeah. Well, that's another black coral. Yeah. Maybe we can have a look at it. Val is saying that the words that would wake her up is Zimimpus? columnar jointing. Uh. <laughs> yes. Oh, is this a black about. coral? Another shrimp. And Asako said, you had me at plexorid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but Asako, we we're not seeing that. We are not <laughs> seeing it. Can we okay. move another three zero meters bearing zero zero five, please? You can come wide, thank you. There was something interesting thank on the you. bottom there. Something interesting on the bottom. Yeah. Where? Uh, bottom bottom of, of what? Bottom of that coral, or underneath it. Oh yeah. We can zoom in again. It's strange. It's. Uh, uh, Is that the whole? Oh, that's grass? just extra polyps on the bottom. Oh, huh. they look yeah. odd to me. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, they look they so look different. different. Yeah. yeah. I know so other I other words that would keep me up. Woody. ROV is stuck. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. That would keep you up We never want to hear that. That never would not be, that. be up in a good way, though. <laughs> uh. I think I'd run back for a giant squid. I haven't really mm. seen that. <laughs> so the black coral that we were zooming in on, um, I was thinking was a bathy pathies. We're getting... Pseudo alternata from one of our scientists ashore, Jeremy Horowitz. Is that uh, a type of bathy bathy? Um, that is what I'm trying to figure out. Ah, right. Because that is not my field of expertise. Um, schizopathy. No, sorry, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what a joker. Um, Jeremy is mentioning that maybe there are some organisms that attach eggs to the base of the colony, so maybe that's what we were seeing. Oh, cool. So oh. next time we uh, see one, let's have a closer look. Okay. Is part of the coral yellow, or am I...
Yeah, pulsating. it looks like the coral is it that has lost its tissue mm. has maybe got this yellow color. We can have a partial zoom on that. Yeah, go ahead, Steve. Yeah. So the yellow color is actually coming from hydroids that seem to be attached oh. to the dead part of the coral. Are those in there? Squat you, lobsters? Also some squat lobsters. Several of them. Great, you can come wide. Thanks. Thanks. Are the squat lobsters like the color? I feel like sometimes they're always blending in. Mm -hmm. Is that natural? Do they have camouflage properties? I don't know. That's such a good question. I don't know why they would need to be camouflaged because yeah. there's not much light down here except for us. Uh -huh. um, so, not sure. Interesting. I feel like I always see like them similar to the color of the coral that they're on. That would be interesting. Going back to hot vents, if anyone has a chance when Hercules is on deck, feel free to come down and look at the light bar where one, maybe two of our forward-looking LED lights has some, we'll call it discoloration from getting too close to one of those hot vents and having it melt. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's from. And it still keeps working. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's probably really? five or eight That's years crazy. ago. Wow. Which hydrothermal vent was that? I think that might have been before my time, but it was likely the, uh, it was likely Endeavor. Okay. I want to say it was Endeavor 2016. Mm, okay. There's a fish looking for some shade. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hiding in the uh -huh. hole down here. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's like just as if your like dog or cat was hiding under something. Mm -hmm. Like you can't see and just me. the tail. Just the tail. <laughs> <laughs> My cat does that all the time. Even though he's gigantic. Oh really, really getting in there. <laughs> oh. Almost gone, almost. Oh. Does not want us to ID it. <laughs> They're coming. It's wanted. <laughs> <laughs> it knows it's on the most wanted uh wish list. Yeah. But wait, there's porch light. It's on the <laughs> Kelly Lynch list. I can't come out. Aww. With oh, a no. giant helicopter in the ocean. Here you go. <laughs> wow, straight in that hole. Yeah, gone. Goodbye. Yeah, there's really not hanging out for us. All right. So right now we have an Orient. Herc's heading is roughly northwest. And we can see that the corals are facing off to our starboard side, more of a northward oriented direction. Do you want me to get a bearing on them? Yeah, and if we can also maybe go off stick and see if the current is pushing us still to the west. Roger that. Or if it's changed orientation now that we're on this side. I would say we're probably pretty square, well, hmm. just off north, maybe, f I don't know, somewhere between 15 and 40. Yeah. Yeah. And how's the current feeling? Uh, let's get some visual reference and then I'll let the stick go here. Okay. See if I can stabilize, and then we'll. All right, dead stick. Not a lot. Not a lot, but it's pushing it you pushing me. towards the south-ish. Yeah. Also slightly inboard, so I'd probably pushing me two ten. Okay. Two thirty. Yeah, so that makes sense with the orientation. They're slightly off yeah. uh, north, and it's coming a little to the Except these ones right in front half. of me. Yeah. Well, I think it was more over on the other side, yeah. um, on the ridge. Can we move three zero meters due north, please? Thank you. Going back to the exposed sort of skeleton we saw with the hydroids, someone's wondering, do the hydroids kill off the coral tissue or do they, or can they only attach to the exposed skeleton? That's I do not know the answer yeah, to that question. That's interesting. Good question. 
Yeah, I'm wondering if it was predated by something. Right, and then, and then there was like the open space. Like, yeah, took advantage. Exactly. Although we haven't seen our favorite coral nommers. We have starfish. Not. The coral nommers. And there are lots of bamboo, and they've been on those. <laughs> yeah. This is a good example of why it's important that we clean the ROV down very well between dives. Is all the stuff that we take for granted. Oh, we've seen sea stars on every dive, but I mean, sea stars might be a bad example, but any kind of species that hangs onto the vehicle between mm -hmm. dives mm -hmm. would to could totally change the mm -hmm. ecology around here. Right, like some of the dives we did out in the west where we saw those yellow stocked crinoids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Haven't seen those over here. Yep. might have been a different depth but it's a it's a good point Trevor mm -hmm. especially since we're working within the Papahanamoa Kuakea Marine National Monument we definitely yep. don't want to disturb the yeah. environment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and introduce anything mm -hmm. I'm gonna get a little closer to Atalanta yeah it's a little lineup of fans in the background oh, there yeah. Mm -hmm. oh yeah like all the way around yeah that is so interesting So there are some zoanthids that do attach to a live coral tissue and, and kill it. So there are some examples of that. Cool. And that information is coming into us from one of our experts ashore, Dr. Chris Kelly. Can we get some partials on what I think are black corals down here? Yes, we can. Okay, let's go over there. Try to get both in. Yeah, so it looks like we have two different black corals here. All right, thanks. Thank you, you come by. So the one at the top left, I think, was the Storopathes storocrata. And the other one was the Bathopathes. We'll wait for some confirmation on that. All right, yes. That's correct, Beth. Getting confirmation from Chris Kelly. Bathypathies and Storopathies. It's so cool to see these bamboo corals with polyps like all down them mm -hmm. because in the past we were seeing them half eaten. Yeah, you're right. Um, <laughs> it's super different. Yeah, not that many sea Bridge stars. Nav. Can we move three zero meters due north again? Thank you. We can do more Atalanta zooms too if you want. For the viewer wondering what's the most mind-blowing and perplexing man-made object we've ever seen on the seafloor, um, I think someone asked a similar question a couple days ago, <laughs> and some answers were like a half bath and some dishwashers or something, washing machines. Somebody a toilet? Else, uh, Did a toilet? Say a toilet? Yeah, bath half bath. Half bath. <laughs> yeah, half bath. Well, it was a full bath, just not a sink. Oh, oh. Quarter, <laughs> quarter bath, three-quarter bath. <laughs> Where was that, Trevor? That was around Vancouver Island somewhere. Hmm. Can't remember exactly where. Can we get some partials on the sponge coming yeah. into the frame? We got a lot of sponges on this rock. Oh yeah, you can see them in the uh, Atalanta view. Yeah, okay, let's start here. Go ahead and zoom please. I think that would be the word that wakes up Chris, right? Sponge. <laughs> <laughs> Coming back to our conversation from earlier. 
Diane, what do you think this is? Reddit. You've been so good at your sponge IDs lately. I've been working on my sponges. <laughs> okay, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Come wide. Looks like a similar sponge off to the right. Oh, yeah. Another one of those down in the bottom that we've been seeing. Oh, yeah. Quite a loss. Um, so we think this is a uretid. Uretid today. Yeah, I at least landed a family, not a family. Working on it. And for anybody at home that like to follow along with the animal ID guessing game, uh, <laughs> you can <laughs> always go to um, oceanexplorer.noaa.gov. And one of the things you can find on their page is a benthic animal guide. And with that, it has a lot of taxonomic uh, photographs of different species and where they've been found in the deep sea. And we're often referencing that here on the ship as we're trying to identify the organisms that we're seeing. I'd like to make some flashcards. Yeah. <laughs> flashcards is a good idea. Speaking of identifying organisms, uh, someone is wondering when we see those sort of like long uh, pieces of sponge, is that like one whole continuous sponge or a series of sponges together? And if there's a way to sort of tell them apart. Mm. I'm not it sure. might be a Chris question. The long <laughs> sponges. Like, like the one we just saw? Yeah, the one. The one? Mm -hmm. They're like, is that one whole sponge oh. or like some like different sponges that have come together? Uh, I, often you'd need to see the backside, mm. see where it's attached and if it's just one, but I would think that it's just one. Ooh, look at this fish. fish. Oh yeah, fish coming into view at the top of the frame for a Oh, I know. wasn't moving for a second. <laughs> That's the third fish like that we've seen. On this dive? I think so. I saw one when I was sitting here in the valley, and we just saw another one that looked like this. Or, no, maybe not. I can't tell. So, I think this is a Corypheroides, if I'm not mistaken. Really nice oh, shots that's there. Cool. No parasites on this. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's right. Does look a Yay, bit healthy than the ones we saw over on Loud and Seamount. Yeah, where are you going, buddy? Bonk. <laughs> He's like, you can't see me. All right, I'm leave him alone now. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Definitely one of my favorite scientific names I've learned so far. Corey Fernandez. Corey Fernandez. This yeah. rolls off the tongue. It does. <laughs> Can Unlike we have the same fungus step, please, Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> <north>. Unlike <laughs> fungus Christmas. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, Lynette, when would you recommend that we start making that northwestern swing to get up to the uh, side? Do you have a recommendation? Um, or is it just dealer's choice? Yeah, I think it's dealer's choice. Okay, yeah, um, let's go ahead. If you want to take a more gradual route, we could kind of come up this way. Yeah. Sure. Um, yeah? Yeah, that okay. sounds good. All right. Maybe we'll get there by the end of our watch. Okay. So we've gotten back into some of this more rubbly material here. So we're not seeing those big, huge fans of hemichorallium. Mostly seeing smaller corals here, as well as this rather sizable sponge.
What's this white leggy one between us and the sponge? Uh, this one right here? Yeah, have we seen that a lot? I, I am not that. sure. Can you zoom in, please, Steve? Like a primnoid. Oh, primnoid, okay. Maybe a norella, I'm not sure. Definitely less dense than the big pink fans. Yeah. Thank you. I love the stealth gauge cam on Atlanta. <laughs> it is Secret. in stealth mode. It's always watching. <laughs> always watching. Gauge cam watches you. And this is the the Argonaut seamount, and it's Atlanta who is goddess of I was, the Argonauts Oh my gosh, I was thinking about that the moment I found out we were going to dive. <laughs> I should have looked up the story. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get very far in it, Annabelle? I tried, and it was really complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've looked it up before, and it's like, I need I need the cliff notes on this, and we need to rename some of these gods, like Bob and Tim. <laughs> we have Jason, <laughs> <laughs> What? Oh. <laughs> it's hard to follow. <laughs> yeah, they, they do give all the different characters, and it's complex. <laughs> But we have Jason, right? Wasn't oh, there a Jason? Jason and the oh, Argonauts. Jason. Yeah. Freaking Jason. Yeah. Didn't want Atalanta to come along because she's a she was a woman or a goddess or something. I have a two-minute summary. Yeah. Yeah. Let us have it. Yeah. But, but even in this summary, I don't understand. <laughs> we <laughs> need I'll give you the summary. Okay. Argonautus in Greek, in Greek legend, a band of 50 heroes who went with Jason in a ship Argo to retrieve the golden three fleece. Three zero meters bearing three four zero. Golden what? From the golden fleece, or to retrieve Thank the golden fleece from the gro grove of Ares at Cho Choclis. They had many adventures before arriving at Chloclis, <laughs> from which they were eventually forced to flee, pursued by Medier's father, Aetes. Oh, this getting complicated. The Argo, yeah, I know, right? The oh, Argo lost eventually. The Where was the fleece? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't I know. Don't okay, know this is the best story. To yeah, this is. <laughs> the the only thing, Jason died on the boat when the prow toppled. As he was resting in its shadow. Oh. I don't even know what a prow is. I it's don't. It's the front of the boat. Yeah. But there off. was, I think his the whole point was he was going out to find this golden fleece, and I think he did find it. Is it's there another name for fleece, or another definition of fleece than the one I'm familiar with? <coughs> it's similar. It's like a, a cloth, golden cloth. Oh. Uh, seems like I a lot of work. sheep's wool. Some in this linen. Case. Yeah. It's golden. It's golden. Yeah, but so is just gold. Yeah, it's kind of cool if it's just gold. Why does it have to be gold cloth? Yeah. Because <laughs> it's so delicate, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Like weaving together threads of gold. Like okay. some of these sponges. That does sound pretty. Like some of these sponges. <laughs> like some of these sponges. <laughs> They're so delicate. Yeah, I wonder why this seamount in particular got named Argonaut. All, I believe all the seamounts in this area are named after vessels that uh, also explored around this region or Hawaii. Oh, okay. um, so there was a, a, and I'm sure whoever named that vessel was inspired by these ocean 
themed stories. What's the story on Nutka? I'll have to look it up. The puzzle pieces are coming together though, thank you. <laughs> This broken up rock. Yeah. Looks kind of steep unless I'm not looking at I it. I mean, right. it's very different than what we saw an hour ago. Yeah. Once we start heading northeast, I'm wondering if it's going to get more um, okay. rounded again. We might be just on. This is a relatively steep slope, so it has probably failed at some point, and that's what we're looking at here. It's the remnants of that. So Nootka is named after a ship that visited Hawaii in 1787. Mm. Hmm. Nootka. According to the Gazetteer. According to what? The Marine Gazetteer. I don't know what that is. It's a, um, a place where deep sea features that have names, like where the name comes from, oh, where wow. it was first given. Really? Yes. So I wonder that's if that's, there's a Nootka area around Vancouver Island, and I wonder if that comes from the same ship. Oh, I don't know. Yep. Let's look up the ship Nootka. Going back to the golden fleece with the Argonaut story, looks mm -hmm. like um, some folks are chiming in saying that it's just 100% sheep's wool, like the the thing, the golden fleece. Oh, like it's made out of, it's not made out of gold, it's yeah. made out of wool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's less exciting. <laughs> it could be Bridge ma nav. magical healing magic, maybe, or something like that. But. I guess it was 100%, so it was maybe really three rare. zero meters, uh, bearing 320, please? There's a fun little sponge Thank going you. off yeah, screen down in the center. Really? Yeah, I saw that. Where was it? It just went center below screen. Yeah, that. yeah there it is. Uh, there's one on the left, one on the right. I thought the one on the right was a little different than what we'd seen. Let's zoom in on it, please. Who? Who is it? Who are you? Who are you? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Frank. No, oh, what's Frank doing down here? There's another one on the far side of the rock, actually, yeah, a little wee I guy. Yeah, I see that wee guy. Um, can Frank we also Jr. look at the coral on the left? Coral on the left. This one? Yes. Sure. Which mm. I had said earlier might be a pimnoid, but Chris pointed out that it might actually be a plexorid. So, Masako, if you're listening might be something you're interested in. Um, we can get a little more zoom if you want. Yeah, yeah that'd be great. Ahead. Thank you. Oh. Retracted polyps? Or oh, small stubby cool. ones? What are Hard to tell. And there's also some white. Um, so anthids on the base mm. at the bottom. Great. This is great imagery so that Asako can go back and have a look. A little crinoid there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, look at it. Didn't even see oh, yeah. a little crinoid. Little white crinoid. Yeah. And more Baby sponge action crinoid. over the left as well. Tiny yeah. little sponges. Yeah. Wow. Okay, thank you. Bouncy, bouncy.
Oh, the sun is sitting real nice right now. Mm. Oh. It was so nice today. Yeah. Was it was in many ways. Yeah. The best start to the morning and then really nice weather. Yep. I think if you go to the Nautilus Live Instagram, you can see some whale shark clips. Oh, oh yeah, and Great. It, it's a bunch of um, cell phone pictures videos. and videos on the story too of the um, Nautilus Live page, and some fun facts about whale sharks too. So, hello fish. Here's another Coriophanoides up in the top left. Oh, oh yeah, fish. Yeah, whale sharks are the biggest known living fish. Hmm. Didn't know that. How big do you think the one that we saw was? 20 feet? Close to that. I mean, yeah. Wow. It was really? It was pretty big. That's amazing. But I guess they can grow to like 60 yeah, feet. Yeah, it was not full grown, I don't think. No, Maybe? it didn't look. I've seen bigger ones. I've, yeah. <laughs> it definitely wasn't. That was 100% the biggest fish I've ever seen. <laughs> even, in a, even in an aquarium or anything. <laughs> have you ever been to the Georgia Aquarium? No. We have a giant whale shark at what? the Georgia Aquarium. Really? Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That's the only other place I had seen one. And that guy is uh, fully grown. <laughs> Must be a big tank. I it hope. is. We have one of the largest aquariums in the world. Cool. It's very nice. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Is that in Atlanta? Aquarium. It is. Oh, cool. It's a good one. I've never been to Atlanta, but if I go now, it is. You I can know dive with the yeah. You can dive in the tank if you no want. Way. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. It's a pretty cool aquarium. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned this. We were talking about Atlanta earlier. I this know. Never came up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we weren't Everyone talking about marine science things. Everyone always talks about Atla Atlanta, <laughs> not Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Shelby's practically my neighbor. It's just down the mountain. I oh, know. <laughs> I love North Carolina. This is my like second favorite southern place. I like to go visit the big city. <laughs> <laughs> Can we move three zero meters bearing three two one? Or, I'm sorry, 320, please. Ooh, I see a sea Thank star. You. I think. Yes, I see it. Oh, up top right. Yep, top right. Oh. One. Okay, zoom in on the star, please. Is he nomin? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, there we go. That was a good, good yeah. eye, Annabelle. Yeah. Is yeah. he nomming on that? <laughs> oh, uh <-huh>. wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Huh. That's what he's eating, yeah. Huh. Interesting. It doesn't look like all the polyps below it are eaten. Oops. Like how we typically see them. Mm -hmm. What's the little nugget on his back? Yeah, yeah what's that? I, don't I, don't know. Know. I was wondering. Fanny pack. You ready for a little more? <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, kind of also, doesn't it That's look like it's zoom. about to just drop off of there? Yeah. Like, how yeah, it does looks like that? It's got a one arm little. Uh huh. It also, yeah. It also hasn't eaten the, like, oh, let's see if all I can of that. Around. It was just a different type of coral, so maybe mm. how it <laughs> noms on this is different. Yeah. How Suction is strong. <laughs> <laughs> I would read that science book, How It Noms, How a it story <laughs> of predation events. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks oh, hilarious. Look at the suction oh, on the it's back. Like barely Whoa. a tank. Wow, wow, look at that. That Crazy. is amazing. Nice shot. <laughs> Great shot. I love that. Nice oh. job, Stephen and Trevor. I feel like we don't always get to Any see the sort of please? suction yeah. cup things yeah. on the back yeah. that often. Light, Steve. Roger. Oh, oh, porch light. I don't think I've ever seen the the suckers like that. Yeah, I'm like oh, that's oh, really cool. There's a little barnacle on the rock behind. Oh, yeah. Wow. <sighs> okay, right. you can come on. Thanks. Whoa, it's okay. That was so satisfying. It was. <laughs> that was cool. I've never seen that view either. I've never seen that view, yeah. 
felt like a lot of the times they're kind of like curved around uh -huh. it because they're always on the bamboo. So this one was just like flat on it. So it's a good, good angle. There's a I'm always so surprised by so like the surface area the to total area yeah, ratio so. of like know. surface area attached. Mm -hmm. Wild. Good point. Great spot to sit. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see that much. Oh, oh. yeah. Look, that's interesting. Is that and that's a halosaur, I think. You do a snap zoom. Snap zoom. Oh, it's floating. Just chilling. Look at his nose. Wow. Uh, So Trevor, I've been doing some research on the name of the Nootka. Okay. And it is connected to the <laughs> place in British Columbia. Cool. That you were aware of. From same named after the ship? Um, the ship was named after the area, which is named after a local indigenous tribe. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. I was wondering if my worldview was going to be shattered there, but I thought it was, yeah, local indigenous Vancouver Islanders. That's wild that there's representation of that out here. <laughs> yeah, so it was part of a trading company right. involved yep. in exporting goods from the region of the world that you live in. Wild. Now that area is a fantastic remote wilderness area. Beautiful sea kayaking and nice. remote hikes. You said Nutka is the name of the... Nootka Island. Nootka Island. Nootka Sound, maybe? Yeah, Nootka Sound. Nootka Sound. Oh, that's sad. Is there a hole in that coral, or is there something on it? I, I think, think it's, it's a, a hole. It's a hole. Yeah. yeah, okay. Interesting hole. Maybe a fish went through there at high speed. I know, right? <laughs> like a or a, a, or a rock a came bounding down the hillside. Yeah, it just oh. like wow. tore right through, yeah. What about Kool-Aid man? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hard no. <laughs> we're, we're probably... Wait. Are, are, we, are we dating ourselves with that reference? <laughs> Annabelle, do you know what we're talking about? Don't, uh, uh, don't answer that. Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't think anyone would notice. <laughs> <laughs> I'll teach you about no, the Kool-Aid man. man. There. Okay, thank okay. You. Wait, is there no Kool-Aid man anymore? Here. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yes. On the, there on were the all package. these commercials. You'd like bust through the wall. Oh. It's definitely still there. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yes, I get the reference now. Very funny. Ha <laughs> 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 ha. Good save. Oh, uh, yeah. We appreciate you being a team player, Annabelle. <laughs> Oh my goodness. No. Uh, quickly going back to the whale shock for people who are wondering on Nautilus Live. It's not a post, it's in the story. So if you go to Nautilus Live, uh, the Instagram, no spaces, and just click on the picture at the top um, near the bio, that is where all of the whale shark information and photos and videos from this morning are. Um, so now you won't see that the last post is China Cops, but the whale shark is in the story. So that's where it is. Oh, wow. Okay. So it's starting to get a little steeper you here. Bet it is. Yeah, we get a few more boulders, I see. So for that, going back to our sea star friend that we saw a few moments ago, we're IDing that as a Goniasteridae. Um, not quite sure on the uh, deeper net taxonomic name. We've collected.